well, Lando? He's there. Still frozen in carbonite. But he's there. Now what? Okay, I'll call in the rebel fleet. Jabba's just a gangster. We have an army. No, 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 Leia. I got a plan. Here's what we're going to do. R2, I'm going to give you my lightsaber. You and 3PO will walk across the desert to Jabba's palace. Before you go, I'll record a message saying that I'm handing you both over to him as slaves. Don't tell 3PO. Leia, a day later, I want you to disguise yourself as a bounty hunter with a weird name. A, a weird name? A weird name. Like Garn or Tamtel or Boosh. Yeah, all right. I'll use uh, Tamtel. Nah, I'm already Tamtel. So what? Be someone else. What's the big deal? I've been disguised as Tamtel for months, your highness. I'll be damned if I have to commit to another character and throw away all the work I put in as Tamtel. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll be Bush. You can have Tamtel. Jeez, you get really possessive when it comes to disguises, Lando. What's your Bosch? Is it Bush or Bausch? Who cares? Take Chewbacca with you as your prisoner and turn him over to Jabba to collect the bounty on him. What? Get a good prize for him, too. Maybe even threaten to kill yourself, Chewie Han, and everybody else inside with a bomb if they lowball you. Why, why does the money matter? Later that night, when everyone's asleep, sneak over to Han and free him from the carbonite. Okay, got it. It's going to make a lot of noise when you do, so you'll be captured, you'll be put in a bikini, become a slave girl for Jabba, and be virtually silent for nearly the rest of your time here. Uh-huh, sure, right. Wait, what? The next morning, I'll arrive, get inside with some Jedi maneuvers, a couple of force chokes, mind trick or two. Hold on. Force chokes? Isn't that leaning a little bit on the dark side? No, I've kind of been skating the gray area since I lost my hand, so just, just go with it. My first joke is a little darker than gray, but whatever. Once I get into the throne room, I'll stand on a trap door, threaten to kill Jabba if he doesn't give me what I want, force grab a blaster, shoot at him, miss, and then be dropped down to his pet rancor. Wouldn't it just be easier if you walked in with your lightsaber instead of having R2 smuggle it in? I agree. If you're getting in with mind tricks, and force chokes, they're not going to search for you. And if you're going to overtly try and shoot Jabba, why not just overtly pull out your lightsaber and try to cut him to bits? What have I told you guys about trusting in the force? Now where was I? Rancor pit? That's right, Rancor pit. I'll kill the Rancor with the help of a bone, a rock, and a giant metal door, but then I'll be recaptured by Jabba's guards who are only a tenth the size of the beast I just killed. <laughs> You said it, Chewie. We'll all be taken to the Sarlacc pit on Jabba's sail barge. There, I'll walk the plank of the escort ship. R2, I'll give you a signal. Jump down, grab hold of the plank, leap back up, do a 630-degree somersault, land back on the escort ship, and catch my lightsaber, which you will shoot over to me, R2, simultaneously. <laughs> Language, R2. Once I have my lightsaber, I'll kill all the guards pretty easily, including that fat guy everyone thinks is so cool. Maybe I'll leave him to Han. Either or, R2, you free Leia so she can kill Jabba. Wait, I kill Jabba? How? I don't know, improvise. You'll be chained to him at this point because you're a slave girl in a bikini that doesn't speak. Choke him to death with the chain or something. Yeah, choke him to death? He's a thousand pound slug with a throat the width of a sand crawler. I'm a 138 pound princess in a bikini of all things. I, I don't even think Chewie's strong enough to choke him to death. <laughs> Listen, why doesn't R2 just give me the lightsaber, I kill Jabba using that, and then throw it over to you? I'm sorry, I'm on such a roll here, I wasn't listening to a word you said. Anyways, after you kill Jabba, we blow up the sail barge, escape on the escort ship, head back here to the Falcon, and Owen's your uncle. We all got it? This is an odd Are you sure you don't want to just call on the fleet? We there are a lot of the spacecraft. A lot Several of moving regiments of troops. Very sure risky. Jabba doesn't have this the resources to stand against an enemy or the intergalactic to the militia. All for one guy who holds us Guys, guys. What have I told you? Ugh, trust in the, the force. force. That's right. Now get ready. I gotta go confer with the hermit ghost and the green troll creature that trained me in the Jedi arts. So you actually kissed that guy? Ugh, don't remind me. This is the Phase 4 reopening of the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. They talk movies. They talk TV. They talk about the conundrum of deciding who would win a douchebag contest between Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg. I'm your announcer, Julie. 
and I don't believe in hell, but if there were such a place, I'm sure one of the elaborate tortures involves roof of your mouth pizza burn. That shit is the worst. Here are your hosts. Matthew Stewart, DJ Valentine, Justin Polizzi, and special guest slash hostage, Jeanette Ward. Hey kids, this is the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. For show purposes, I'm DJ Valentine. And I'm joined by a couple of folks who are so starved for sports, I've seen them betting on illegal Japanese panda racing. Chief Justice, Matthew Stewart. Dr. Justin Polizzi. And from the mundane adventures of a fangirl to the word of Reformed Sorcerer. Jeanette Ward. Thanks so much for joining us, uh, Ms. Ward. Uh, I had to call you that or strident proliferator of a promotion of nat- nightmare creatures I see on Twitter all the fucking time. So how are you doing? I, good. Not mm-hmm. reformed. Um, oh, not re- <laughs> <laughs> c- c- Just complete sorcerer at this point. Yeah, oh, no, complete. you know. Okay, good. I, I am, um, what, what's, what's the best way to put it for this, this, uh, these days and times? My head is, this is above great. water. You know? My, my head is above blast. water. We're finally seeing the end. Everybody's, we were... everybody's alive. I'm just glad everybody on the show is not a ghost. We have made no, it. This is, no, this is actually the, our post-mortem podcast. <laughs> <laughs> this is our obituaries, folks. We from, are all uh, from this point forward, I have decided to haunt <laughs> yes. Daniel yeah, Craig old, because old. he knows what he did. Oh damn! What is, what is with you and Daniel Craig? Look, what did Daniel? I, I did will Daniel Craig touch release, you mentally. I am preparing a statement. I will release okay. it. Oh, oh shit! When okay, that new Bond oh, movie oh, drops, right, so if and hey, man, when? Justin, put your finger on the cancel button. Get, it, get your finger on. I the feel I feel like this is kind of like the end of Watchmen, where you leave the note. Oh Ooh, god, she's Warshack! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> And it's gonna be, it's gonna, they're gonna put it in the, uh, in, in the next, next day's edition. Do of, it. Uh, Just that. do it. Next day's edition. The show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned. To, listen to the whole show so you can see what the end of the show is. <laughs> So you can see what actually happens. So Jeanette Ward here is first. Or Jeanette Ward says Daniel Craig killed uh, a thousand people <laughs> with killed an black man. creature. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's there's rumors that Daniel Craig killed a man in one of the riots. And, uh... <laughs> I, hey, look. <laughs> if you told me he did, I wouldn't be surprised. If you told That's me how he, he got did, his, I wouldn't be surprised. His double O status was he did it with his no care <laughs> attitude. That dude yeah. earns more side eyes, for, justifiable side eyes, than. Wow. <laughs> Who's worse? Are we going with who's worse in your eyes, Connery or Craig? Uh, Mel Gibson. Oh well, of course. Well, <laughs> Wait, are we? Oh, is there a list? Man. It's funny how nobody's talking about Mel Gibson. <laughs> you know, and, and what bothers me is that Mel Gibson. Listen, what, are we supposed to be talking about something specific right now? Because no, 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 no. 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 <laughs> this is oh, yours, you, please. You, you've Jeanette. been on the, you've been on the show. You know, so, you know how this works. I'd hate to get us off track before we begin. Let's be honest. We're not even on the serious. air, Jeanette. Let's keep this. Let's I'm keep guilty as charged. It's fine. No, I, what, Go ahead. How have people forgotten about the, the travesty? The juice? That, yeah. well, the, well, the Jews take over <laughs> everything. Matthew hasn't what, forgotten. Oh, That's what I was told. Who I, gave Mel Gibson a pass? He keeps I showing up the Jews. Oh, yeah. the Jews. The Jews gave him a pass. Well, the Hollywood Jews. The Hollywood Jews. <laughs> He he just Hollywood squares. keeps showing up and and I remember I remember mm-hmm. what he did. Yeah. Mm. What the Jews? <laughs> did you, <laughs> you hey, the we Jews were in the, we were involved in there too. No, the, yeah, it's, Matthew it's doesn't get the, the Bogart, the Mel, Mel Gibson, Gibson racism. Yeah. Okay, we were part of it too. We were part of it. Oh yeah, come on. Yeah, we all felt it. <laughs> there was sexism the, and the only multi-racism. Thing, the, only thing he didn't, he, he, the only person he didn't insult was like probably the Italians. I don't know. I'm sure he well, tried see, to work it in. I'm sure he did. Yeah. He doesn't like the Jews or poor. He did like a French kid, right? He doesn't like pigs. He doesn't like no. women. He doesn't like Jews. There's he doesn't, doesn't like black women. people. He doesn't like. No. I'm sure there's a lot of others. He likes but sugar. But he blamed it on he his. Loves he just sugar, blame it on guys. his uh, grandfather. Sugar. Oh, he loves sugar and tits. <laughs> tits. Loves maybe them. both. Loves them. <laughs> but maybe not in that order. Sugar tits. I'm a man with no face. Oh my god. A man with no face reference. What was the one with the? Uh, was it ransom? For a while, I had a Mel Gibson. Give me back my racism. Give yeah, me that back was my it. son. <laughs> Give me back my tits. Where he fire marshal build for, that guys, line. Guys, let's talk about Forever Young, the Mel Gibson <laughs> movie. Where? Oh yeah, that was good. Wasn't, wasn't Gina Davis in there? I think she was. Do you have Do you have a favorite Mel Gibson movie? Can Can you still Air, watch Air America? <laughs> What is, what is my favorite Mel Gibson movie? Oh, well, Lethal Weapon. You can't, you, you can't say Lethal Weapon. I that's feel not, like that's, that's off fair. the table because Danny Glover yeah. saves those. Danny know, Glover kind of makes it something hey, Mad else. Max. Gotta, what's yeah. your favorite solo? G- I guess it's Mad Max. I guess you got to go Mad World Max? Warrior, maybe. I guess. Um, I'm trying to what think. else is he? 
I'm trying to think of other stuff he's been in. I'm going to say uh, Tequila oh, was Sunrise, he in, yeah, starring Kurt yeah, Russell. Kurt Russell. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and Michelle right. Pfeiffer, right? Was it Michelle Pfeiffer, Kurt Russell? Uh, and no, then, uh, written by Robert Town. DJ, of I thought yours was Expandables Three. Oh, oh that's he's oh, yeah. he is good. I in mean, that. he's racist as fuck, but he's great. Yeah, in that movie. he's Jesus. great in that movie. <laughs> and plus, he is Get a patriot. The Gringo. So he is the patriot. He, he did murder Jason Isaacs. Another. Uh, I would say my favorite star of is what star women Trek want. <laughs> yeah, what women want. That's what women one. want. It's watchable. It's a watchable movie. Poor Helen Hunt. It's what women want. Yeah. He he is what women want. I, but honestly, after watching the What <laughs> Men Want with Taraji P. Henson, then I I fell into a wormhole of thinking, what would conspiracy theories? What would all? What yes. do I really want? No, what would all of Mel Gibson movies be like if we replaced all of Mel Gibson oh, with Taraji P. Henson shit. across Holy the board? Across the board. Shit. Think Hold about on. Taraji I, I might P. Have Henson to cut this out I in Braveheart. Have to... I might have to do Taraji oh, P. Shit. Henson Braveheart sketch. I might have to throw that in there somewhere. Maybe a Taraji P. Henson. Imagine well, why don't you Henson just get the Gringo, huh? Yeah, yeah. Just get the Green Grow. Get the Green Grow. <laughs> get Wayne Grow. Wayne Grow. <laughs> no, Maverick's pretty bad. Huh? Maverick's well, awesome. Maverick is like pretty that. fucking What's good. What's the one with that him James on the Garner, boat? Though. With the, with the, isn't it? You know, the boat one. The bounty. The gambling. <laughs> Oh yeah, bounty. Oh, the, oh, the, oh, the bounty, yeah. Bounty yeah. with Anthony Hopkins. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the boat um, one. <laughs> is he on a boat in any other movie? I don't think I, he's on any other I boats. Think that might be it. No, I, I knew exactly what you were talking about. I just, <laughs> I just want the poster to say Mel Gibson in the boat one. You know one. the boat movie without a shark in it? What's that one with the spirit? beaver? Oh, the beaver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was right. bad timing for you. You win. Yeah. <laughs> Shoves his hand up a beaver's ass. Yeah. Is Jody Foster still well, defending him? Jody I know the oh, answer. Yeah, you don't yeah, have to tell me. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yeah. I like Jody Foster, yeah. but man, Jody. Jody. Do you? Yeah, hey, man, I she like was in The Accused. She produced a couple, a couple shows I like. So, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. She So she directed an episode of here and there. Yeah, I'm saying I, <laughs> What makes her so goddess? <laughs> yeah, what's, yeah, what? Have you seen, seen a goddess? small little film called The Signs of the Lambs? She kind of has a lifetime furlough because of that. Yeah, wow. Anthony Hopkins is fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. He's really good. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who got shot in the neck in Heat was really good. In oh, movie. Jesus Christ, he was so good. <laughs> the guy who was that's, shot in the neck. That's in a deep cut. He didn't even know his fucking Any, name. I don't even know the fucking name. The guy who's willing to tuck Manhunt. his dick between his legs. His name is Ted Levine. <gasps> I, hear uh, I need you to get that correct. Now, was he on, <laughs> it was Monk that he was on then, he right? He was on Monk yeah. as a normal cop, which is weird as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I look at him, I'm like, like, you're a chair. serial killer that wears skin. You can't be a... No, no, no. Oh, you're not going to mouth. Big, 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 The guy who does a voice in Joyride. <laughs> yeah, he's candy cake. Candy cake. What about the fact that he's talented enough to play mm, Buffalo mm. Bill, is it? And then also have career after that where that's not the character you think of every time you look at him. No, no, he's not that talented. He'll always no. be Buffalo Bill. Yeah, always Buffalo Bill. <laughs> yeah, and, like I said, any, anybody who's willing to even tuck to his family, that, even Buffalo. if you want, hey, Buffalo, take out the garbage, Buffalo. Buffalo, like Buffalo, Buffalo Bill, Bill to garbage. Thanksgiving. If that guy, if you're in a diner, okay, you're in a four-hour layover, and you're at uh, uh, LAX, and you see Ted Levine walking up to you, the first oh, yeah. thing in your mind is not going to be yeah. Monk, okay? Oh. <laughs> it, it is if you've never seen Silence of the Lambs. Oh. Yeah, well, well, talking, it's 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 Monk or Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> it's gonna be what? What's it gonna be? He was uh, uh, what's his name? Russell Crowe's boss in that movie with the cops. Oh, wow, that's a deepest. That's that the deepest movie cut with of the all. cops. <laughs> Hold on now. And dr and drugs. Okay, you, you know he doesn't American act. American gangster. I'm in the to... in New York and New Jersey. American you know gangster. I, I don't know. There you go. Are I you think telling you me right Ted Levine has retired? Yeah, he retired. He opened up like Gene Hackman. Yeah. yeah, he opened up a little spa called uh, I Fuck Me. Oh, That's Jesus. Up. That was a long way to go. Mm. That was a long, a long just drive. just giving him the rope. He was like, here you go. Just see how far you can go with it. Welcome to I Fuck Me. Uh, we would like to fuck me. <laughs> What's your pleasure? What's your pleasure? Put the lotion well, we in offer, the basket. We, and, we, uh, offer, uh, two, we offer two things. Uh, I'd fuck me, you'd fuck me. Or, we all uh, fuck, fuck me. me. <laughs> Is this ice cream? All I can say, really... Is you want copyright strike? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I think we earned it after this conversation. Mm. Oh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Welcome to my spa. <laughs> <laughs> you want a manny? What, what services do you have available? 
a pad. He always has it. He always has a song ready to go, <laughs> no matter what. I need something very, very special for my wife. What do you have? When for Justin me right was now? asking for a loan. He played this in the background as he was asking the, the banker. <laughs> I'm gonna rob you. Right? <laughs> I'd loan you. I'd loan I'd you. Loan you. <laughs> I'd loan you so hard. <laughs> I'll give you a low APR me. so hard. <laughs> We have to close on this date. I'm okay. giving 10% off your riots. <laughs> your APR is going to be so low. <laughs> Time for a segment that is so full of crap, it should have the term gate attached to it. It's believable, believable, believable. Or, or, or bullshit. 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 Believable or bullshit. This is the segment where I make a statement about the possible future of the entertainment industry, which is probably going to be one. Uh, and these three... Well, Thank tell God. me if said statement is believable or bullshit, hence the name. Uh, you guys ready? Yes. I, I don't care. Still. Uh, here Doesn't we go. Matter. Ready for this to be <laughs> over. Born, born ready. Born ready. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Tenant will be thought of as Christopher Nolan's best film. Believable. Believable. Uh, or what's bullshit. Tenant. <laughs> I have one word for you, Matthew. Tenant. <laughs> Oh, I feel oh, like it's that movie that's spelled the same way backwards and forwards. It's the one with the uh, Denzel movie. Jr., right? Yes, John David Washington. Uh, oh, that's right. disrespectful. I know Jr. that his name is John David. <laughs> John Michael Washington's his last name. Straczynski Man, we're Washington. really just coming back to the pre-show, aren't we? Uh, let's see here. Let's see. I- I'm going to say bullshit. Wait a minute. Um. Yeah, I mean, I- oh boy, it's tough it's because. Bullshit. That's bullshit. Come on, out with it. Come on. We already know who he is. Are, are we judging based on what, <laughs> what in general, the industry says or what our personal preference is? I Your still think Memento preference. is one of his best movies. We could make a simply mm. the best on what's the best normal, because I think a lot of people are going to say Prestige. You could. But, I love uh, the Prestige. Yeah. Prestige, Prestige is, is, Prestige is the most fun movie, I think. Is oh, it? No, There's no. a dead canary in that movie. And that's what makes it, it fun. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I you like the fact that you you don't have rights. to take the prestige seriously and you can have fun as opposed to oh this guy's in a dream. <laughs> what <gasps> what I My god, what a twist. What I, what I like is a panicky Hugh Jackman. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh that's when you get good. to a panicky yeah. Hugh Jackman. You like, you like when Hugh Jackman acts, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Well, look at that. Look at they he's put him in really acting. bad situations. He's trying, guys. He's trying. <laughs> he's actually he's actually dying right now. <laughs> Keep him in there. I also enjoy when Christian Bale leans real hard into his um, cockney. <laughs> he's really cockney. Hey, I'm going to do a fucking magic trick. I am. <laughs> all, all <laughs> can't talk Watch me bounce this ball ear ball. ball. I'm going to bounce the fucking ball over here. <laughs> That movie's chock full of Hockney. It's got fucking. I mean, David Bowie's the Michael least British person in the movie. The right. ass <laughs> <laughs> Who is now? Okay, wait a minute. Here's here's the discussion on this because that came out the same time as the other one, the Ed Norton one. The Illusionist. The Illusionist. Illusionist. Now, Ed Norton. And yeah. the yeah. what I wanted to do was flip the the female actors mm-hmm. in the two movies. Uh, who was in the Prestige? It was uh, Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson. And, and, and then the one who was in the Illusionist. Jessica Biel, I believe, it? or Jennifer Biel, or what was Je- 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 Jennifer Biel? Why did I what? think yeah, it the was the whole wife, <laughs> Canadian? Je- the Jessica Biel, yeah, the anti vaxxer or whatever her name. No, I wanted to flip them. I I wanted um, if it's Biel for some reason I thought it was. Uh... It is. It is it's Jessica okay. Biel. Yeah, it's Jessica I wanted Biel. her in the Prestige, and I wanted S- S- Johansson in the other one. It just you think nah, Biel's a better actress fit. than uh, Scarlett? She doesn't fit in Batman Gotham by Gaslight. Ooh. Oh man, I don't know if that's an insult. Insulting. No, I was just thinking I'd watch. A whole <laughs> series of that. <laughs> Victorian that? Batman. Here's oh, the thing. Wow. Um, Scarlett Johansson, I could do with less of. Uh, so Ooh. I feel like. Man. Well, no, she got what she got. She in, said uh, that she Jojo wants to. Rabbit. Yeah, she said she wants to play a black person. Let her play a black person. Come on. She wants to play a tree. Yeah, whatever the hell she said. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's, she's up. She, she I just feel like anything. you can't. <laughs> you have to be like so. <laughs> Jeanette, are you against women? Not are you a misogynist, Jeanette? No, I'm, I'm against Scarlett Johansson. And, okay, and her, like we'll, we'll when people repeatedly right say to her, could you maybe tone down your white privilege? And she's like, no, no. I will double down on it. <laughs> I'm going to endorse Look, I can't, it. I'm going to tattoo it on my way head. God made me. <laughs> She gets a furlough, a little bit of a furlough, because I loved her in her. That's like I, I like that movie. Oh wow! She was great in it because she wasn't in she it. She wasn't in it. <laughs> That's why I didn't mind it so much. 
I'm not gonna lie to you. I hated that movie, but that's you, hated you know, her? Why? yeah, I did because I thought it was nonsense. And I, well, it's I, nonsense. It's about a guy who <laughs> lies. I like I like the fact you get to say, you, "Oh, you hated her. You loved her." I hated. I think somebody has a little things. scarlet fever. I got a little scarlet. Ooh, <laughs> nice. It's not COVID. It's scarlet fever. Get him. <laughs> somebody cough in that man's face. Oh, get away from me. <laughs> um, so I'm I'm going with bullshit. Mm. Bullshit, huh? You guys all saying bullshit on me? You say okay. So you said his, it's, it's going to be his best film. Yes, the best film Christopher Nolan has ever made. I want it to no, be. I, I do. I don't know. It looks promising. It I looks don't know if promising. it's going to be the best. I film. think we could all agree Nolan's a fun and really good director. Uh, but sometimes some of these uh, Interstellar, people, Interstellar. yeah, they kind of just throw it <laughs> yeah. out there like it's uh, the second yeah. coming of uh, oh Jesus, like. Every- <laughs> Yeah. I, I Isn't w- his next film always his best film to everybody? I feel like yes, yes. Not when that's Dark a good Man way to put it. <laughs> Not with Dark Knight. I, I feel I feel like this with everybody. Batman <laughs> Begins was excellent. It was it was spectacular. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> the the final one it was a fun time. Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. Was the, 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 the fire rises? Oh, so terrible. <laughs> oh, it's fun to watch. So bad. It's fun to watch. You came like back fun? to die with your city. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's okay. Oh, come on, everybody still loves that voice. It's great. <laughs> it's I think we still love it. I still, I think I it's still like the most. It. There's parts I think it's of that the movie most I love. Recognizable but, you know, thing he's ever done in terms of Batman. I'm already movies. in. Hey, oh, in terms the of Batman, best thing movies, he's it's... ever done was when Picard stabs him at the end of Nemesis, and then he grabs that thing and slides along it to get closer oh, yeah. to him. Tom Hardy's a badass. <laughs> a lot of people would say Capone's his best work. No, no, no one I is saying say that. that. <laughs> I would pass Who would I'm, say that? Who the Hot fuck would say that? I, I haven't even seen the movie yet. I'm saying it's his best work. If who you would like say that? shitting on himself for two Mel hours. Mel Gibson, who would say that? <laughs> the Jews. Like the Jews. <laughs> the Jews. <laughs> hey, I've, I've learned a, a lifetime furlough. I can say that. It's true. It's true. All right, next one here. Uh, okay. <laughs> either Lord of the Rings... Back to the Future or Die Hard will be remade in our lifetime. Believable. Yeah, that's believable. Or, you know, I, I don't want it to be believable. Lord of the Rings. Oh, wait, are we supposed to pick <laughs> one? I thought we were no, just no, going... no, no. I said, I said or. <laughs> one of those three will be. Oh. <laughs> No, no, no. I know Back to the Future won't happen because I'm not going to let it to happen. You know, the Knights <laughs> yeah, Templar. Hey, we're going to record it. No, no, just The Knights no, no. Templar <laughs> yeah. came the together. The Illuminati and the Knights Templar Justin has and made sources. a commitment. <laughs> I'm part of a Knights Templar when it comes to Back to the Future. And God, I can if it tell happens, you, I, if, if, something, uh, if that movie gets made die. and it blows up, I have to fucking hide myself because I'm associated with a guy who's on many occasions said he will stop it from happening. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's, he's, been, Through he's, he's been successful so far. <laughs> It will happen. <laughs> Lord of the, the Rings, vi- out of my control. <laughs> Not touching that one. <laughs> I think it's. I think. It, I think it's what time for a remake one? of Lord of the Rings. Die Hard. <sighs> oh, I would be devastated. I would be. De- you would be devastated. I would, I'll tell my mind stop violence. <laughs> I'll, let me explain why I didn't say Die Hard because I, you know, of course we all agree Die Hard one and two, well, three. Three, thank you. Yeah. yeah you, you scared me there for my a second. There's, there's only three. Brain, three. There are only three Die Hard movies. There's only three. Uh, like two and a half Die Hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> one and a three. And, then and that's like, my point. Ron shows up one time. Oh, uh, like, yeah. William Sadler, Naked Yoga, period. Oh, well, okay, fine. Okay, two, yes, two and three quarters, all right? <laughs> two and three quarters. How long was yeah, the guy? Yeah, that was bad. It has gotten worse and worse, though. It's already been murdered. At least Back to the Future was never murdered. That's yeah, true. Oh god, yeah, that's true. That's true. They haven't killed. They haven't killed. John McClane's they, dead. They, they think of these three movies. Everyone except for Back to the Future has been murdered. The Hobbit murdered Lord of the Rings. Die mm. Hard, Good Day in Russia murdered the rest of them. Good Day, Die Hard. Jack Courtney. Good Everybody burger. loves Jack Courtney. Good Burger to Die Hard. <laughs> A good burger. This, a this, good is burger. How, this is how this is how Love Hollywood it to die is. Hard. We, we know we know how Hollywood is. They all sit down in a room. They go, okay, we got this new movie coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we want it to be a success or do we want it to be a failure? And then then they say, oh, let's make it a failure. It'd be a tax write off. Right? I, I'll call Jack That's Courtney. Point. Yeah. See, we'll make it in Russia. We 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 know Putin. Uh, call Jack Courtney. <laughs> Putin's my. He'll kill it. He'll okay, kill. He'll, kill. He'll, he'll definitely kill it. Uh, <laughs> He's our biggest. Star. <laughs> Trust me, he loves killing things. Oh, uh, Jack Courtney. <laughs> Get Jai Courtney here. We gotta we gotta double down on this <laughs> failure thing. Squad. I don't know what that means. I'll just put Jack Courtney. It's Jai Courtney. Fuck it. We'll yeah. just take it as a write off. He's done one thing in his entire life. Uh, <clears throat> next one. Uh, <laughs> what has he done? Spartacus. Uh, Spartacus is the only pretty. Uh, I, I mean, he's he good as Captain that. Boomerang in a horrible movie. I'm I don't sorry, I don't recall that. Uh, <laughs> 
You know, was he alive during Spartan? No, the TV uh, show. Was, this is this was pre Courtney. Oh, uh, wow. He was like he's know, probably Jamie is... Courtney at the time. It was and it wasn't it. It was <laughs> a Rob Tapert show, I believe. Oh yeah, yeah. TV is fake. Which he's is why there's there's so much seconds. Lucy Lawless in it. There's a lot of Lucy Lawless because it's a Rob Tapert thing, I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lucy Lawless. Lucy is great though. Spartacus. No laws. List. It's a little extreme sometimes. And, wow. Spartacus, that show, there are some traumatizing sequences in it. I know. Spartacus was a good show. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> you son no, of a please bitch. tell us more. <laughs> a Power a Ranger nudity. was on that show. A lot of violence. <laughs> a lot of nudity. Did, lot of did, you say, did you just refer to him as a Power Ranger and not no, no, as Jessica, the... Jessica no, Jones' a sidekick? I... No, no, no. No, there was an actual Power Ranger on that show. Wasn't that him? Isn't isn't what the hell's that dude's name? Like, Ika Darville, like Ika The Black One. I don't know Ika... his name. <laughs> the black guy. The black ranger or the black Ika Not Darville. the old black guy, the young one I think that was in love with Rocky? Yes. I think he... Ika Darville. He's Jessica Jones' sidekick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, you're right, correct. Thousand percent correct. Yeah, that guy, he was a power ranger. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, Jeanette. That DJ guy. gets his black. I, I can't you, all you yeah. black people look like. He is <laughs> Uh, Australian of Jamaican Canadian descent. How's that Damn, for a whole bunch of, of everything? Oh. Fuck, I that guy is, gotta, like, that guy is a regular God UN. He is I really know that beautiful. Anyway, no, okay, easy, easy there. Uh, <laughs> we can give you a moment. We can versus give William a moment. Sadler naked. Now you're just this, this fawning <laughs> yeah. over the naked slave and Spartacus. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Everyone right, here we go. typical anyway, white woman. <laughs> so I say bullshit. <laughs> bullshit on the I, I I think it's bullshit. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Oh. What was the thing again? The question? Are they going to remake any of those three movies? In our yeah. lives? No, I'm good. We'll be dead. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, I'm, well, we'll be dead. Well, I'm on, happens. well my <laughs> schedule rate, is. We don't too, have much time. Uh, yeah, we, <laughs> time is running out. I think we're good. <laughs> I'm dying tomorrow. Yeah, so. Matt, Matthew's uh, on a, got a, got a, a. I'm good. <laughs> I'm fine. Unless somehow yeah, they were making it behind my back. Got the Kool Aid ready and everything. He's ready to go. Schedule that because that that is convenient for planning purposes. I'll live stream. I mean, he always has a calendar. I tried. I tried. I mean, I got my ducks in a row. Chief is like sleeping right now. He's killing. <laughs> All right, next one here. Uh, um, I discussed this on Miscast. Uh, Hugh Jackman will return as Wolverine in an Old Man Logan standalone film. Believable. No, Believable. Did, they, did, they, did they just already do that movie? That's exactly what I said. Okay, I was making sure I wasn't going crazy. Oh, okay, yeah, we can move on. All right, good. Uh, <laughs> we'll be dancing. It will, uh, there might be dancing. There might we'll be, be Zendaya. Musical. We don't know. Zach well, Efron might pop up. We'd have if no idea. If it's a musical, I say yes. Wow. I, I like a, 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 a musical Wolverine version musical. of Old Man Logan. I'm Old Man Logan. 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 Yeah. Is he going to cameo in any of the new when they finally shift the X Men over to MCU? Yeah, I think when they do that, though, they're just going to have to recast yeah, it. He's actually like going to be in uh, the new the, the the mutants, actually. Yeah, early you, think you think Drew Gray gonna... Scott is sitting at home with his fingers together like, finally, he's on Batwoman finally, right now. Finally, it's going to be my time. <laughs> finally. Please get me off of Batwoman. <laughs> the greatest show on television. Uh, I think I like remember, the, the, the actor remember... who played Malcolm and Malcolm in the middle was like, this is my time to shine. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. finally, I finally. don't hate that idea. <laughs> 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 He's kind of got that face. He, he does have that face. That face. <laughs> and he's short. <laughs> and, he's uh, and he's like a lunatic, apparently. Yeah, I've seen so. him on Dancing with the Stars. He's capable of putting in the work if someone said, hit the gym now. Oh, yeah. Wow. I, I it's your time might, to shine, Malcolm. Cast it, Justin. Get Jesus him, Frankie. Christ, he's probably right. Frankie Muniz. Frankie Muniz yeah. is like, please, please. I've done <laughs> I mean, I mean. What if I, I mean, done? when you're when you're in a when you're in a movie called My Dog Skip and the dog's better than you, yikes! You have to when the last to, movie kind of I've seen you in is no, Sharknado Three. He was in that too. <laughs> he oh, was excellent. Yeah. In oh that. yeah, yeah, he was in there. <laughs> he was there. Oh, I thought it. it happened. I seen yeah. it. Uh, here you go. You seen it? <laughs> <I> seen it. <clears throat> uh, executives will finally see the light and make the Godzilla vs. King Kong movie about the monsters instead of the fucking stupid annoying people running around. Oh, God. I hope so. That's funny. I like like Stranger Things a lot. It's a really great show. (laughs) I want that to be believable. Oh, that wasn't being sarcastic or anything, was I? I want it to be believable. I mean, there's only been 30 Uh, minutes of total monster fighting in two Godzilla movies. I know. It's... it's... (laughs) Well, you gotta have the whole backstory about the yeah. ignorant child that no one cares about. Yeah, so, yeah. And Vera that was such breaking their crowns at a young age. Well, monster. Aaron Taylor Johnson. The whole thing is like, and, uh, you know, at the, at the same time, maybe the real monsters are the humans. The movie was it's no. A, a the movie stop. No. The, <laughs> it's a metaphor. It's a for metaphor. Humanity. <laughs> Christopher Nolan says it's a metaphor. It's a me- <laughs> the library book is not moving. <laughs> It's the other side of space. 
with Godira Godzilla. talking now. <laughs> King Godira says, stop it. I am Return so your well. library books promptly. <laughs> what I needed Godzilla. was more information about the, the mountain spider monster uh-huh. and yes, the, yes. the one the with the arms. Walking around there. The, and the, the other one that looked like the one that was killed in the previous movie. Yes, yes. Got pretty exciting, though, for a second there. Yeah. I enjoyed yeah. it, but I did want more monsters and less people. That that cast, there was like, like twelve deep on the call sheet. We needed maybe three. Yeah, yeah. Give me Charles Dance. Give me uh, somebody on the left, and then we're good. <laughs> I don't well, care. maybe I mean maybe they couldn't pay the monsters enough to show up to, on set. Oh yeah, they, they are. Striking. They are a bunch of fickle bastards, aren't they? They are those fickle fucking <laughs> monsters. Getting high in their trail. You know what I'm I know. Godzilla man, first world problems. Godzilla, like, come on. Hey, Mountain Spider Man, can you want to come over? <laughs> hey, and say, hey, no, hey, hey. one percent over whoa, whoa, here. Man, I'm that anyway. <laughs> he's doing. Sorry, he can't come. He's, he's sniffing a lot of coke right now. Oh, he's a cokehead. <laughs> Holy shit. You know, now, you know how high you're gonna be when you're a giant spider? Holy fuck. I know. <laughs> Man, I've, wor- I've worked. I've worked with these people. <laughs> these people, easy, man, easy. <laughs> easy. What do you mean these what do you people? Mean I these have eight people. legs. You got my hand on the cancel button. Get the cancel button ready, okay? You don't know when Stewart's gonna flip out. Giant mo- monster spider people. We need to get an audio where some guys like cancel. Are you suddenly like six a.m. radio DJs? Oh yeah, that's how they cancel you. That's how that's how they cancel James Franco. He was walking down the yeah. street in a in a in a nineteen eighties uh, morning shock jock with c- 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 kids. So right his face. I feel like I feel like we could do the drive time radio. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> Got to make a whole bunch of fart noises and like, hey, I mean, welcome back. Oh, yeah. the chopper one and over the highway. C- 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 <laughs> I'm farting on everybody today. <laughs> what? What? Exactly. Anyway. Oh man. <laughs> uh, Stay tuned to the wet t-shirt contest uh, at uh, John's Bar and Grill this weekend. <laughs> yeah. right. uh, two for what? Jello shots off two of for what do you want? Why? So those guys are the same guys who do the announcing in a strip club then. Is that I, I was thinking they're the same guys who do the announcing at a monster truck rally. They might oh, be the yeah, same yeah. Guys. Those are the same guys. Monster truck. Grave digger. Friday, Friday, Friday. Bring the whole family. Welcome to the stage, Charlie. <laughs> Grave digger. Grave digger. Welcome to the stage, Grave Digger. Holy fuck! <laughs> Holy God! What happened? <laughs> She's buried so many the bills. <laughs> Has three children at home. No husband. That bullet wound isn't for show. <laughs> oh, God, no! It's safe to say that marriage is in the grave. That's not a C-section, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the next one. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Picking our own grave. Exactly. The problem Speaking with these shows is when we do them a little slightly early, we have a whole bunch of coffee. Yeah, we really yeah, I'm, still, I'm cocaine, still working uh, on this cup right here. Yeah. <laughs> I'll apologize oh, okay. once again. <laughs> Zack <laughs> Snyder's Justice League movie no will be so good that DC Warner Brothers, bullshit. Inc., whatever the fuck they're called, bullshit. Bullshit. Will un- tell you something. bullshit. <laughs> will I, I have un- a big. Let me get it out, no, no, guys. No, no, no. You, you have to answer the question in the form of an answer. You, st- you, you can stop after it. Zack Snyder's whatever don't. will be so good. No, period. Jeanette's Bullshit. time. Don't waste Max's time. Don't waste my fucking time. Okay. Don't waste your motherfucking time. I How much money the, was spent? Like forty think, million dollars. I'm pretty sure forty million dollars could have been used somewhere else. When can I see the Whedon cut? That's what I want. Oh, please, Trump, Trump, trust me. You don't it want to see bad. that. Cancel. You want to see the cancel. 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 You want to see the simplistic reviews cut? Oh Jesus, please. please. Here, I'll show it to you. Oh, it is. There it goes. Oh, <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Finished. Blink hey, you eye. ever watch the uh, Justice League on the weed and cut? <laughs> on the weed. Uh, <laughs> next one. This is going to piss off Justin, but I don't care. James Bond will have a final film in the franchise in, in, in our lifetime. Oh. Believable. Or, or, or bullshit. You know what? Mm. kind of wouldn't piss me off. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, well, what would be better, if they ended it or if they, they widened the space between entries? Would it be better if they did, like, not 10 <laughs> years, but, now. like, Widen seven, the... <laughs> eight years between... <laughs> Widen. How long was Spectre? That was I, like eight years ago, wasn't it? I feel like, you know, that was a concept that the Bonds played with a few times now. Right. And it's work, especially with like Goldeneye. Mm-hmm, right. Mm-hmm. Um, and Casino but Royale. like, you know, I just don't want to go to the theater to see another Spectre. Oof. That, that pissed you and off. And that's my biggest concern. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like us like saying like, oh, the movie theater's done. That movie was so much that. wasted potential. 
Ext- uh, extreme. Extreme. You're, you're 100. In fact, I was on Matt and I were on a podcast. Uh, I remember <laughs> Justin died during that podcast. Yeah, but, I yeah. killed myself so I didn't have killed to be himself. on the podcast. Check that out on a uh, unnamed Literally. podcast where Justin it, killed himself. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry. They had it had like a lot of you know. Spectre had a lot of good mezzan scene and stuff, and it had like a lot of great scenes. And but you know that what, little drill that's, moment. That's when Justin killed himself. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah the, the one that makes no sense to the movie and kind of goes or back on the its own actual bullshit. relationship between two characters and that makes like, no sense whatsoever. Makes no or... sense. And then the villain and that they the hero wasted completely no on sense. one of the greatest actors of our generation. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just a waste. Yeah. <laughs> you mean there was you mean there wasn't enough pathos oh, and there wasn't no, enough story no. arc and Matt, but but let's like talk about the pathos and oh, spec- yeah, myself too too Craig. Yeah. Do you like so that much. scene like, where James Bond uh I guess raped a woman? Did you like that? Yeah. Inspector? That was stuff like, that happened. I liked uh, <laughs> I liked when they had the booms, when they had the big boom explosion oh, parts. Oh, the boom, dude. That was my favorite lot. part. Oh, the boom? Oh, the boom. I, yeah, I like when they went boom. I like when Dave boom. Batista showed up and I was like, oh, here we're going to get some good use of him no, as an interesting gone. hell. No, oh, never mind. No, no, there's a rope. There's a rope I like there. when Monica Bellucci yeah. showed up and I was like, oh, they're going to do oh, something yeah, amazing yeah. here and they're no, going to have an actual legitimate female villain in a bun. Nope. Nope. Sorry. Something better pass. Than you. pass. Oh, Hard pass. Mm. <laughs> she well, left, and then you know Dave what Dave Batista's number one call screen. to you know arms was? Uh, fingernails. He had yep. he had silver fingernail polish. That was oh yeah. That was his thing. Well, that, well, that was fashionable. Yep. Yeah. Um, so I don't want that to happen again. So I rather. <laughs> I, I hear you. That is because like you know throughout my day I'll put on a Bond film. You know even mm. though it's in the background and there's mm. one that I just continue not to put on. And I'll let you go. Does <laughs> <laughs> it have a Alicia Keys singing the song? I'm, I'm still sour. No, I rather Quantum. I rather watch Quantum than over because <laughs> at least it kind of connects to Casino Spectre. Yeah, its own yeah. You can have you can have a nice uh, you know you 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 can edit super cut Casino. Yeah. I have an edit of Casino and Quantum together. I don't mind Quantum as much <laughs> as everybody else, but I do mind Spectre because mm. it's, no, like, it's terrible. The yeah. But the thing about Spectre is it's just things that just really just anger you as you watch yep. <laughs> because there's it could have been everything yep. it could have been so mm-hmm. much more yes. but yep. when you say you know let it die of course you know uh, i wouldn't see every bond film that comes out but i think at this point it's like you know what let's just let's just stay away from it i mean for so many for so many like titles of bond that have to do with dying and stuff like that you think they would just fucking get it at this point <laughs> put, put, die. A, put them down just this fucking be die yeah there's no time Nah, Treat it like a dog and die. Oh, no, easy, easy. E Chief can hear you. Calm down. You okay, Chief? <laughs> no, he's having a dream. He's weird. He's having a dream right now. It looks like he's running after a, a pony. A pony. <laughs> Why? Of all the you know things. What, <laughs> he's, he's listening to a lot of Genuine right now. Oh, kids. Genuine uh, was an R&B a singer. Genuine uh, reference. <laughs> oh, that makes me happy. <laughs> That's a great Godzilla was in one of his videos actually. Speaking of, speaking of the devil, it was oh yeah, yeah the Godzilla roared. Like, like yeah, 1997 Google, Google Godzilla genuine or 19... in Godzilla. Oh, you, come do up, you okay. know the level to which <laughs> my brother and I on a Zoom meeting delved into the Motown Philly video <laughs> to search Motown. for Event oh, yeah. Nicole Brown in the background. <laughs> Oh, kids' wow. music videos were things that used to be played. Were great. Yeah, kids. Motown yeah. Philly was. Uh... <laughs> Wait, are we talking about Nicole Brown? No, not that no, Nicole no. Brown. You <laughs> son of a yeah. bitch. Not that uh, one. You got me all excited. Oh no, no. Get your, get your, get your, your, your glove on. And, uh, and uh, uh, Amir uh, Questlove on the drums. I'm fairly certain. You know, oh, yeah, was he the one? was there yeah. when yeah when you go Philly, to the yeah. high school performing arts in Philadelphia high school perform the listen that high school in Philadelphia yeah West Philadelphia born what, and raised born and raised <laughs> playgrounds where you spent most of your days is that what you're mm. telling me chilling out Maxon relaxing all cool shooting some b-ball outside of school all right next one here's the, the uh, <laughs> final one here. <laughs> Oh God! Uh, <clears throat> which one should I pick here? Which one? Oh yeah, this is kind of bullshit. Anyway, uh, Sam Remy will have a uh, cameo of Tobey Maguire in uh, Doctor Strange. No, believable. He will. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 bullshit. What's Tobey doing these days? I mean, he I heard he's an asshole. They can't live his ass. Yeah, for a long I, I don't is he, care is he what he's doing. The, the... I want him to stay wherever he's staying and and not oh, interact like with anyone. I'm oh, tired of that dude. Apparently, he's a giant dickhead. Uh, tired of him. <laughs> really? Oh, he was Michael Sarah. He's Michael Sarah's character in Molly's Game. Apparently, that's what they based it off of. Tobey. McGuire. Really? That's funny. Oh, yeah. That's so oh, yeah. funny. <laughs> yeah. Pussy Patrol, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's part of Pussy Patrol, wasn't he? Puss- Kids, he was. Pussy Patrol he, was a group. He, he was one of the henchmen. Uh, David <laughs> Blaine. If him, if him and Robert De Niro made that movie from Tropic Thunder together, oh. would you watch it? 
I would. Um, Robert, you mean Robert Downey Jr., not Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, Robert De Niro. honestly. I, first off, watching it with Robert De Niro. Second off, watching it with Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. The one where they suck each other's dicks in the priest. It was, yeah. Robert Daddy, it was Robert Downey Jr. In the, yeah. Uh, what was it? The, yeah. the priest oh, I'm thing? Sorry. I, was, yeah. I would I was watch it. I was watching Midnight Run yesterday, so I got Ooh, Robert love me De some Midnight Run. Yeah. Midnight sorry, Run. I got that on the mind. Wow. Movie. Humble break. Robert Downey Jr. We get it. You watch yeah. movies. Okay. You've yeah, seen yeah. Midnight Run. Classics. We get it. You have taste. Hey, I, hey! Hot Dennis. take coming in. Hot take coming in. Uh, midnight Run score, one of the best Danny Elfman scores of all time. Bam! Boom! Drop the mic. Uh, because it doesn't sound like Danny. It's yeah, it's the, it's the anti-Danny Elfman yeah, score. That's why I love it. I love it. Interesting. It's really good. That's yeah, before I mean, Danny got lazy. Yeah. <laughs> the, yeah that's got Yafet Koto in it, man. Kids, Yafet <laughs> Koto. Koto. Is a black guy. <laughs> and fucking Dennis Farina. And he Farina. Said he the fucking steps to me. The fucking and Joey Pants. And let Joey Pants is in there somewhere. <laughs> Joey Pants is in there. Yeah, he's flipping he around is. in there. And he's, he's wearing there. pants. He is wearing <laughs> pants. He doesn't have hair, but he's wearing pants in that movie. How has Joey Dang. Pants not released a line of designer pants yet? Fuck. Come on, Joey Pants. What are you doing over there? You cypher. Joey Pants. <laughs> cypher. I, want, I wish Joey Pants was like in more pornos. What? what? <laughs> you think his name is synonymous with porn? Joey No Pants. Joey No, Joey no Pants. The, I'm, the I'm porn sure guy is also the guy in the movie. There is a, there is a porn Liano. guy out there who is Joey No Pants Liano. Oh, oh see, 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 of course it, see, it all exists. See, I'm not even, I'm, I'm, you know I'm what? Sure. I can't I prove it. I can't prove bullshit. it's not true. <laughs> believable or bullshit. There's a porn it's actor believable. called Joey be- That's no believable. Pants. That's believable as fuck, actually. <laughs> this has been Believable, 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 or, or, or bullshit. 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 A segment that I cannot believe we're still doing. I'm Googling it. <laughs> yeah, so Google uh, Joey No Pants Liano. He was the star no of uh, Really, Really Bad Boys 2 and 3. Yeah. <laughs> really. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now, let's do it. Instead a of the Goonies, it's called the Poonies. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now we're going to go through all the Joey Pants uh, filmography and make them. Yeah, what else you got there? Bound? Bound can leave that be one called alone. Bound. Uh, bound. <laughs> let's leave that. Uh, uh, let's do a little TV roundup. <laughs> Joey Pants' filmography is uh, all porn movies. Well, instead of The Matrix, porn. it would definitely be The Climax, right? Or The, sa- the yes. Sex Tricks? I, I, I guess that's the No, I think The Climax sense, is yeah. better. I just want to put sex well, the in ma- there. <laughs> so I'm fixing some works. <laughs> the Maid Dicks. The, no, that, you're no, trying. That's... You're reaching. You're reaching yeah. too, no. hard. too hard. Well, every, every porn needs a good pun. No. That's a good no. – oh, wow, that sounds like a good porn name. Right there. Good porn <laughs> every porn. Needs if there's a good one, porn. one industry that doesn't need high-level marketing, it's porn. It's porn. Hey, look, nudity. Hey, they, I mean... are, they are on the cutting edge of technology. <laughs> they don't even have stories and people watch them. That's they don't right. even have a plot. Yeah. <laughs> they don't need marketing. <laughs> By the way, I Googled Joey Pants. I got some news for you. Oh! Oh, 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 oh they said some kids. nudes. <laughs> kids. That's kind of sad. But... Oh, oh, no. Oh. Apparently on May 1st. He's he dead? was struck by a vehicle. Are, while are you telling me Joey Pants is dead live on fucking air? <laughs> No, no, I'll he just it. suffered a concussion and chest yeah, trauma. His head hurt. No, I feel like I knew that though. But they took his pants off. Shut oh, up. Well, yeah, that's part of the. That's the deal. <laughs> like Joey, had, we got to take your pants off. I had to operate on his chest, so they took his. <laughs> Not pants my pants. Off. I told you guys. that one time I went in because I had a head problem. The doctor's like, "Take your pants off." And I was like, "All right." Well, and that's when dick. you realized you weren't in a doctor's office. That head. wasn't a hospital. When I got home, my house named Fred. Second. <laughs> You're Come not on. wearing a lab coat. That's a sweater. A <laughs> With Fool no me pants. once. <laughs> Fool me three times. I, I told uh, you I've okay. been going back and watching old episodes of Highlander, and Joey Pants is definitely in season one of Highlander. Joey Pants Ooh, with Duncan McLeod of the Clan right McLeod? That's right. We Here we are. Boys <laughs> to wear pants. <laughs> the king of the pants. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Well, what character does he play on that? Uh, a doctor. A, a, a psycho he plays doctor. Dr. Joey Pants. Joey Pants plays he a does. doctor? Maybe he was around. a doctor you met, Justin. <gasps> Take off your pants. I got an obsession with pants. Not you. It was your pants. Yeah. Uh, I guess your pants. I guess I want to see your to pants your sitting pants. on my floor. <laughs> oh, these are nice pants. Oh, these are great <laughs> pants. It's corduroy? What is this? What is this? Velvet. Corduroy. Oh, you got no zipper. It's buttons. Ooh, <laughs> button fly. They don't make these anymore. Oh, Most people button, don't yeah. like that. I love it. <laughs> Can't be I love in a hurry. <laughs> oh, nice pocket sizes. I can put my cellular phone in there. <laughs> my cellular phone. <laughs> Kids, a my cellular Nokia phone. Kids, a cellular phone is what we call a cellular cell phone, phone or a blower in the English. Yeah, a blower. A blower. Uh, 
No, everything is just an iPhone. An iPhone. I've got my iPhone. My days. smartphone. Fucking mobile. Got my mobile. mobile. Hey, mobile. DJ, remember oh. we did that uh, No, Mr. No Legs? Oh, I do remember Mr. No Legs. Please tell me Joey Pants was in there. Uh, that would have been hilarious. That would have been great. <laughs> Seemed like a missed opportunity. That would have been great. Uh, okay. Uh, Terrible movie. We'll let Jeanette go first. Jeanette, what have you been watching on uh-huh. the tele? Vision. I'm stalling. Go ahead. <laughs> Hello, blower. I finished Upload on Amazon Prime, oh, uh, well, starring um, Amel the the Lesser and the, the, um, <laughs> Amel the Lesser. Amel the Lesser. No, not Green Lan- Green Horn- Green uh, Arrow. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it's name. Not Casey Jones. Amel the Lesser. Amel the Lesser. Poor, poor guy. Um, and a young lady who is actually a musician who worked with Prince, whose name I can't think of off the top of my head. Oh, I can do some Googling Danny, on that. Uh, Carmen Electra? Danny? No. Uh, she's, she's younger than Apollonia? that. Apollonia? dead. She's younger than that. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, the, I really enjoyed it. I, I found it interesting, fun, kind of different. <sighs> if Altered Carbon was more of a comedy. Um, mm. <laughs> it is it's, a comedy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I laughed at it. <laughs> it was good. I, I enjoyed yeah. it. I look forward to the next the next season. I I think they did a good job. It was an interesting concept. Um, everybody in it was decent. Enough comedy to make it fun with uh, enough of a through line to be entertaining and to keep you going episode to episode. It, it's it, television nowadays. You have to decide kind of upfront what kind of show you're crafting. Do you want it to be bingeable or do you want it to be standalone? And I think if you want it to be bingeable, you have to have a through line. If you want it to be standalone, your episodes need to be closed ended. Uh, this is designed to be streamed, to be binged, and so mm. you know each episode connects to the next, but has enough lightheartedness to enjoy on its own. I think the cast does, was does good. Does Robbie ball you, b- bother you? Because uh, uh, something about Robbie bothers me. I don't know what it is. Robbie. His name's Robbie. Um, is it Robbie ML? Yeah, yeah Robbie it's, it's Robbie. He, it, the lesson, Andy Allo. Andy Allo is the name of the young. Wasn't he the flame? Wasn't he the flame or whatever? The, the, he was uh, Firestar or Firestarter? Fire, 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 Firestorm? Bird? Firestorm before firestorm. Um, Franz Kranz. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Franz. Franz Kranz, Franz. who you can catch in the background of The <laughs> Gentleman. Um, by, oh, he is in that fucking Yep, movie. he sure is. Franz He's Kranz. in the background there doing some flips. Um, <laughs> doing flips? That's right. Really? Everybody Good likes flips. Yeah. He's, he's part of Colin Farrell's crew, I believe. Yeah, honestly, everyone does. I mean, there's not one person out there who doesn't like somebody doing a flip. That's right. Come on. Who, who doesn't like I love flips? a good flip. <laughs> Anti-flippers. <laughs> Uh, my favorite part together. of Upload is the appearance of William B. Davis, who you remember as the cigarette smoking man, who oh, is he's playing. He's, he's in that? He's, he's in that playing the equivalent of one of the Koch brothers. Uh, Wait, which is huh. very... I thought he died for real like 10 years ago. No. <laughs> for real. <laughs> Not no, even a no, joke. No cigarettes for fake. Still around, oh hanging out, God, good being, for being Canadian and whatnot. So, I'm going to yeah. start smoking tomorrow. If that's the case, I can smoke all I want and live forever, <laughs> <No>. apparently. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> But yeah, if you're not familiar with the premise, essentially it's kind of set in the not too distant future and there's uh, digital afterlights. So if you're about to die, you can uh, upload your consciousness into one of many different options to store your consciousness mm. indefinitely. It's so like a Black Mirror episode. But it, it, it is, it except there's in. 10 episodes of it. So. Oh, wow. Man, it seems excessive. <laughs> it seems excessive. <laughs> <laughs> two or more is too much. Wait, wait. Well, Jeanette, you said the bingeability versus episodic yes. nature. Is it? Do you have to watch five episodes before you're like, oh, fuck okay, no. I guess I'm in. No, point. and and I thank God because I am real tired of people recommending tired shows of that bullshit. and then having to say to you, yeah, it's great, but it, it starts real slow. No, yeah. a show should not no. start real slow. I got, you I should got be in on episode one. And I feel like upload. You watch episode one, you're like, hey, that was entertaining. I'm excited to watch the rest of this. Oh, yeah. I'm like Justin Timberlake. I got the fucking numbers in my arm. In time, it's in time was a movie starring uh, Amanda. Killian Curry Murphy. Killian Murphy was there. Was yeah, Killian Murphy in it? Yeah, and man- Killian the Murphy, Batman. the man who should be carnage. Listen, what I'm telling oh, you is that upload is entertaining, the and the I think you'll enjoy it. The man who should be carnage. <laughs> that's like that's another uh, that's another Shakespearean book. That the never, man who should be wrote. carnage. <laughs> the man who should be carnage. Like, what's that? It's like. It's the Spider Man. <laughs> it's the Spider Man. <laughs> the best line ever in the history of any Batman movie. He's great in Peaky Blinders. Get off of Killing Murphy's back. Peaky Blinders. His, Peaky, whatever. Peaky, whatever. Super Blinders, uh, whatever the show is. His name is Killian, for Christ's sake. Killian. He's Killian the game. It's Killian. Killian it. Because if there's one thing I've learned, is that Irish like a hard C. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. <laughs> like Kieran Hines. Anyway. Here, yeah. Hey, cocksucker. Uh, Matthew, tell me what you watch out <laughs> 
What, that's that's a really hard. That's a super hard right thing. <laughs> Cook, cook, sucker. <laughs> cook, cook. I've been watching shit to the shit. <laughs> he's not like a secret. I got a secret, bitch. I've been watching a ton I got, of shit. I got a list. I got a. I, here's the funny thing about it. I have a list here. Well, two things I did finish. Everything else is a work in progress. Mm. So, uh, well, I fin- we talked about Dave before. Watch Dave if you haven't seen that because that's entertaining. All right. Okay. Uh, finished uh, season two of Homecoming the other day. I, that was. I, is it better? Really good. It can't be better than season one. Season one's great. It's different. You have to. I mean, if you see season one, you'll probably. I think you have you'll to stick like two pencils in your eye. Is it exactly. connected or not connected? The the guy from the first one's in it's the connected. second one, but I, it's connected. I don't know how. It's connected. It's only seven episodes too, which is oh, great. Right. So it's, it's, right. it's it's a fucking. It's one of those Bastard. short ones you can knock out in about three hours. And you're done. Okay. Uh, what else got here? The great and the progress of that. That's pretty fucking hilarious. I finished it. It's awesome. It's fantastic. Uh, Killing Eve is really good this, this season. I like that one a lot. Uh, and finished Star Wars Rebels finally. After oh, like, wow. Nice. Guy. Star Wars head over here. Nerd. Way better. <laughs> way better. Than, yeah, fucking nerd over here. <laughs> Honestly, better than I any mean, of that Clone Wars bullshit. What? I don't like, I don't like Whoa, Wars. easy, don't easy, like easy. Don't like it. How I dare don't you? Want the, the, the How come like after you? dare you? And, you. and, I'm, tr- and I'm trying to watch that fucking show. There's a lot of episodes. Yes, there's a lot of it. There's ones it's you can skip, but there's episodes. certain ones you you can watch that are good. like the last four episodes of the show is pretty. That, good. All the stuff on Mortis. Everything on Mortis. Uh, see, that's is the good. thing. I, Anything I, on Dathomir. See, I feel like funny. here's the, here's the, here's the issue with the uh, Clone Wars. Then mm. feels like it's a story. If I'm watching it now, like oh, get to about season four. Yeah, it's one of the things you were talking. Really about. Like yeah, it, it. Is. It, like, yeah, it is. Yeah, no. no, you're right. You have to have patience with it. But <laughs> put it this way: if you don't have the patience with it, you're not going to watch it. I understand. But if you do, it pays off in the last four episodes. The last four episodes yeah. were Epic. they could have released that as a, a movie, as a movie, and I it's better yeah. than any of the new sequel movies that just came out. <laughs> well, hey, I mean, I liked Rebels. I didn't think I was going to like it. It took me forever. It was good. I it enjoyed all the cameos by characters decent. you know and then all the new characters yeah. that you didn't. And, it made uh, me sad a little bit because it got watch. old James Earl Jones and it's like, oh, you can tell. Because Ro- Rogue, is, Rogue One is kind of, yeah. you can't really, but life it, will do that to you, It does it, man. You're going to get there one day. I know. That, that dude's right lived there. a lot of life. He's earned it. Join us. Oh, no, he's earned it. It's just made me feel like, oh, man. I, 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 usually I can't tell. But there you can tell he's Well, don't they like, have, you know, like, Billy D. Williams is in it, too, and I felt like it couldn't tell with him. Yeah. No, no, he, Billy D. Yeah, Williams. Yeah, I mean, they must have put, like, something on his voice, maybe. <laughs> yeah, Billy can, D. You, can, you imagine, can you imagine Dave Filoni giving, like, Billy D. like, a line? He's like, look, Billy, here's a Colt 45 <laughs> in a line. Do what I do tell you. Do this line, then read your line. <laughs> read your lines, do this line. <laughs> yeah. You got to do one line per line. You didn't hear him snorting it before. Every time he talked, it was, it was yeah. weird. One well, line hello. Line. What? Hello. <laughs> you belong with us. <laughs> Up in the star. <laughs> Listen, it was the '80s. Here's the thing. I enjoyed Rebels. What I liked about Rebels, and I, I honestly in the Clone Wars too, the uh, evolution of the character looks over time. Yeah, they look better. Yeah. Animation it looked color. better. First season hair. two was like, this is fucking rough. Darth Maul, especially. He looks like more detailed. And, loaf uh, cats. Yeah. Everybody wants a loaf cat. I do want a loaf cat. I do want a loaf cat. They I got could those sell tiny those eyes. the black market for at least 10 grand. What? Uh, yeah. So, so, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I said it out loud. I was thought to be thinking that. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh, and uh, one one thing. So besides that, cartoon-wise, we're watching the Looney Tunes on HBO Max. Huh. The the old school racist Looney Tunes or the new school? No, they, they don't have Fraser they don't Looney have Tunes. the racist ones. Here's the thing about this: Uh-oh. people might be disappointed. Oh, you, uh, very, you, disappointed. Uh, yeah, very disappointed. Yeah, very disappointed. Everything from the 30s Sunday, and 40s. You, you know, they don't. They got rid of all like the Japanese rabbit stuff. Really, and they got rid. Of all these, they got rid- <laughs> you know, there's there's gaps in episodes. That so is see, interesting. That's Season crazy. one from the 1930s or 40s, like episode one, was it like five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna you say, are they it? still? Like, because it, what about all the scenes of like people getting blasted in the face with shotguns? Face, is the, that the black still face. There? Oh no, that's still there. That's still there. The Ducks black face explosions the face. gotta be there. Like, this can't, is can't America. Get all right, oh. murder is number. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So who owns Tom and Jerry? Because that might be the pinnacle of old school racist um, cartoons. Because you can't get rid of Thomas. You can't get rid of that. That was MGM. That's MGM. So, Who I the think. fuck owns Tom and Jerry? Is that like floating in the ether? Can I buy Tom and Jerry right now? Is that what you're telling you me? You might be able to. I mean, it might be up for. I mean, I'll buy it Tom might and be Jerry. Fuck that. But yeah, if you're, you'll be disappointed if you're looking for racist Looney Tunes. Mm. They're not on there. Damn Just it. like there's no racist Mickey Mouse shit either. On uh, no, according oh, yeah, to yeah. the Google, Tom and Jerry is now owned by Warner Brothers. Originally oh. owned by MGM. 
Uh, well, look at that. So See? that must be on HBO Max. You better do a hard. Uh, so eventually, you'll be able to hear all the racism with Tom. Thomas. <laughs> I never got that until I got older. I was like, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> yeah. I've watched many of these and just laughed. Yeah. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> yeah, but they got they got some of the good episodes on there in the iTunes. If you like the old school ones. I like, the, I like the, uh, the hunt, rabbit season, duck season. That, that's uh, yeah, yeah. That's that's on there. But there's a lot of gaps. You'll notice. I mean, maybe they're going to add them later. I don't know why they would. Do they have the darkest episode now. of any Looney Tune ever with the fucking guy and the frog who kills himself? Oh yeah, mm-hmm. they have yeah, that one. Right? That, was, that was the first. That was the first one I watched. That so I like, Hell dark- yeah, kids. There's a. Uh, you think that WB Frog is cute? He the, the first time I ever saw him was a cartoon a life where ruiner. a man murdered himself because one he, frog. One froggy evening. <laughs> is that what it's called? I wouldn't yeah. doubt it. <laughs> it's, One frog evening. It is dark as shit. That WB frog yeah. is a fucking menace. It's oh yeah. It was the first time I even, I even knew what suicide was was from that fucking cartoon. <laughs> like what is, yeah. what is going and on? Here? Yeah. And I'll be happy to report that Yosemite Sam is still a racist fucking asshole. <laughs> so, <laughs> that a uh, 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 what do you call it a uh, fucking fascist. Fascist. <laughs> I have to say, no part of this conversation is making me want to go back and rewatch any of those. Come on, Looney Tune racism. What? It's fantastic. No. <laughs> you just got to go to the 50s. No. Yeah, as long as you're in the 50s, you're okay. It's no. better than Brendan Fraser uh, Looney Tunes. I can't deal with that Looney wow. Tunes. Wow. Or Space Jam Looney Tunes. I mean, that was a hate crime. Space Jam. I can't deal with I, I'm not a fan of Space Jam. Not a, not a fan. I'm a Why fan not? of the human parts of Space Jam that are not the Michael Bill Jordan. The Bill Murray human parts. Yeah, that's, that's the Bill Murray and the rest of the players. Like, I feel like there's a lot yeah, of them like were Monty doing Bugs some Bugs really quality them. comedic stuff. Yeah. Michael Jordan couldn't be bothered to try and act in that movie. He is sleep. You think Bruce Willis is sleepwalking. Holy yeah. shit. He is like, hey, Bugs. There's a monster over there. We I mean, that was a rough. That was a rough year for MJ. MJ was not having a good year. He was being paid millions of dollars. Yeah. And so, having a real rough go of it. Real rough go. And playing basketball, something he's been really good at for a long time. And Wayne Knight's and his agent. That sucks too. He couldn't even. <laughs> he couldn't even have the fucking like effort to act with a cartoon rabbit. <laughs> Now, what about the second one? Are we really getting a second one? Are we not getting a second yes. one? Yes. Is it done? Yes. LeBron? It's, I don't it's know. done. It might be it's, done. It's, it's happening. It, 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 you feel that bad thing in the back of your head. That's Space Jam Two coming. <laughs> wasn't there a rumor that <laughs> it's not a rumor, rumor that Michael Space Kugler Jam was going to direct that? Wasn't that the rumor initially? He's busy. Even, I, I don't know. I know it's LeBron James. I, I don't care. <laughs> I hate. I, I've never been a fan of Space Jam. It's the Roger Rabbit of. Uh, I don't think Bugs Bunny has the same significance now. No one gives a shit about Bugs Bunny. No, we... exa- exactly. Yeah. That's why I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know. <laughs> so Justin. Hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> have you uh, seen on a box that has electricity that sometimes You know what I've been watching? Programs? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you what I've been watching. What you watch? What you watch? What you watch? What you, what you, what you I've been watching some Dead to Me. Oh! And, and the cold like section. Dove into that, that and finished that one pretty quickly. Mm. Is, it that, is, it, is it worth my time, would you say? Oh, it's good, yeah. Oh. yeah it's, it's really good. Yeah. You watched really. both seasons already? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a loser. <laughs> 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 I just gave you a fucking si- list of fucking six things I was watching. Who's Matthew has a library. Yeah, but see, the, the thing about you is you watch, you watched, you tried to watch racist Looney Tunes. And, yeah, uh, well, I, I got a subsidized. There were three hundred episodes, and now they can only put two up. So yeah, basically, yeah, so I was able to get through them all really quick. It was a quick one, and there's only there's now only it's two. less racism. There's only and this isn't this is Netflix. So there's only ten episodes per season, and they're like yeah. they're not long episodes, mm-hmm. so. You go through it pretty quick. That's on my list. I almost start that. I started Space Force. Oh God, that's the same oh, movie I, see, that I made. Uh, I, on, uh, I was just gonna make a joke that like I've seen it. I was gonna say I watched Space Force, and then DJ was gonna be like, "Oh yeah, how was it?" I'd be like, uh-huh. "No, I've seen it. You know, <laughs> I wouldn't ask you. It. I tell you, <laughs> I'm not gonna watch. It. I'm good. Have... It's the same. It's the same person that made uh, Greg Daniels. The same guy that made yep. the show. It doesn't. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it upload doesn't or whatever. Funny. Yep. Is it me or is it not funny? It's not. It's funny. it's not funny. It, it's yeah. Yes. Is it because it's too it real? It's kind of like, oh, shit. Steve Carell's miscast. He can't, he's, and that's he's it right there. That's it right there. He, he's supposed to be a gruff army guy? And this is the guy who produced Parks and Rec and you couldn't get Nick Offerman on the phone? That's who you cast Exactly. In that hey, guys, here it is right here. Unpopular opinion. Steve Carell's overrated. Whoa. I'm, I'm, fine. Whoa. I'm fine with that. Pump the brakes. <laughs> well, we want the Steve Carell fan base, the Beehive, yeah, 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 come, out the hey, hive, hey, come at us. Fuck the, fuck the Carell hive. Oh, the Carell hive is coming. They're coming. Oh, the murder hornets. The murder hornets are coming. 
Golden Corral. Call, call, like, the, the Golden, golden Corral. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The Golden Corral. That is, that is, that's good. The he Golden Corral. I will say one thing about Space Force. Malkovich yeah. is good. Oh, he's excellent. But he, that's he it. Not? That's kind. I mean, it's, but of, of, compared to everything else, he's the only time where I'm like, ah. none of us have ever had a problem with John Malkovich. <laughs> you mean John Malkovich, who talks his lines every single like syllable? John Malkovich. <laughs> that one. <laughs> you know, for me, like when I watch that trailer for for Space Force, I'm like, you know, usually I don't base upon trailers because I know how terrible yes. a lot of trailers yeah, by can people represent don't care a film or show but uh, there was nothing really funny at all and i was trying to figure it out and then at the same time i'm like i know we're kind of like making fun of trump and all and i'm like right. i really don't need like i'm trying to escape yeah. from that reality. Right. i don't it's need to be brought into it I, I realized watching space force and it's about how when this apocalypse actually ends and they try to make a documentary about it you can't because it's so anything evol revolving around him is so absurd trying right. to make a comedy does it I don't capture even, it? it I don't even want to hear about it. It doesn't like, even I wish, do I wish it justice. real life was that absurd. It <laughs> would know. make me happy. The Should actual Space Force is more funny than the show based on the actual Space Force. Think yeah. about that. Right. I mean, you're talking about <laughs> right. an administration that basically drove Veep off the air because they couldn't come up with anything as ridiculous. Exactly. That's correct. Think That's about correct. that. Yeah. Think about yeah. that. That's how crazy it is. <laughs> Just watch your fucking nightly news. Good night. So I'm, not, I'm like, I'm avoiding mostly social media yeah. news and stuff because I don't want to hear or think about it or deal with it because it's it's happened and it's really fucking happened yeah. like to a point where it's just like I'm done I'm just tired and is that and it is it maybe is it up. bad timing with Space Force I like I so. watched the first episode yeah. and then it, and it's you said, like, it's on Netflix years and I, from now. I wasn't like ready to watch the next one i was like well i'm i have to watch more old episodes of community to watch that out of my mouth <laughs> like i guarantee you there are funnier things than dead to me okay good i, I wouldn't then, doubt then that I'll switch there's to maybe that. three laughs i got out of that whole and it's series. got two fantastic female leads that are just owning that fucking show so oh yeah you know, who is it who is it it's, it's, it doesn't feel name? like they're trying that's to cardellini for somebody Applegate, right? upon Car Car cardellini okay i've seen, I've seen like i feel like steve one, yeah. steve Carell when he's on, like they're trying to force him on, you know, yeah. like, it's almost yeah. like they're trying to give him something. So he, you know, the guy in the background drinking, a drinking a coffee is almost more appealing. It seems yeah. where at least this is like when anyone, really any character, especially those two are on screen, like you're drawn to it. And it's definitely not an episode. It's not one of those shows where a recommendation comes out and you got to watch four episodes. Like nope. I was up late one night and I said, I'm going to watch one episode and see how I'm going to rate it off that one episode. Mm -hmm. And then I like, shit, I want to watch a second episode. That's, and all. I That's just what you want. Stuck into That's it. it. Yeah. Christina yeah. Applegate has been very good for a very long time and often has not received the recognition she deserves. She's no. funny yeah. and, and this in is, real life. This is, like, she's a funny person. Yeah. 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 She does a great job with us. Uh, everyone does. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of people involved with the show that are, Fantastic, Cardellini, and, uh, fresh off of Capone. I, I... Cyclops is great in it. He's <laughs> that guy. He's really great in it. Cyclops, like young Cyclops or oh, no, Mars? Talking about Cyclops. we're talking about uh, Mars, then, aren't you? Yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy Mars. Jimmy, not Jimmy, not the kid Jimmy from Mars? the crop of the new generics not, and some kids Sheridan. with terrible names. No. Yeah, ready James Ty, Ty Sheridan, Ty Sheridan. <laughs> He's fantastic one. in season one, and they do something with his character. And then when you watch season two, you're just like, it's it's uh, you gotta watch it. Right. Who I'm, makes I don't that know. show? Who makes that show? I gotta look up who makes that. Oh uh, well, I know you know. There's quite a few people. Uh, you know, the Christina. She's an executive producer. She's an executive producer. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, she she has somebody from uh, from another show that she was on. Oh, was is was she on guest the... star? Oh. Uh, was, she oh. on so I'll leave. was that the C word? Was that, what, what show did she have before this one? I thought she had a cancer show. I cannot remember uh, the name of it. I thought it was called the C word, no, but I don't remember. Christina, Al Christina Applegate? Yeah, I, I, I might be misremembering. I might be confusing her with somebody else. Because she was on another show that didn't do well, but it, I kept hearing it was really good. But it's, it was like the New Adventures Critically of Critically acclaimed? Yeah, yeah, one of those situations. But yeah, I, I always, yeah, I always I see. Recall. Yeah, I, I always see her one flash of those, up like, on the screen, but I never seen it. Yet. Showtime shows or something, probably. Yeah. I'll tell you it's what, I, I really enjoyed her in the sweetest thing. She was kind of the best part of that movie. Oh, is that is that new? That's, uh, oh, that's, no, that's what that's was it? Cameron Diaz was in that back in the What's day. What's that yeah. shit that just came out with like the Cameron Diaz? Sweetest. Oh, okay. Not, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. Right. But yeah, 
Um, but yes. And uh, let's not talk about the remake she was in. Oh, Jesus. God. Vacation. I Up seen All that. Night. Is that the name yeah. of it? Up All Night? That, I think that might be it. I think that yeah. might be it. Yeah. Okay. I, I think it was I mean, like it, nobody watched it, but it was like getting like all this acclaim or that and Samantha this. who Samantha who I can't remember Samantha if it was who? one of those two. It was I know it was a show she was on that she kept she was talking about it in an interview where like we kept hearing everybody liked the show, but we didn't get any ratings, so yeah. <laughs> they didn't make She's show getting anymore. it now. <laughs> She's yeah. so good, definitely yeah. getting it now. Good for her. She deserves it. She's pretty cool. Yeah. Every time I've seen an interview with her, she just seems like a really down to earth, mm-hmm. funny, naturally person that you know. Had, deserves a show after her. Steve Carell, on the other hand, and Linda's in it. And Linda Carlini's awesome, and, and everything. She, uh, she always, I love, I love me some Linda Carlini. That's Velma, man. Come on. Yeah, yeah. She she does a fantastic job. Um, and Ed Eisner's in uh, season one, and and that's kind of fun. He's still you know, alive. Him. What the? He's fuck? still alive. I gotta start smoking, man. These smoke. These guys, <laughs> I know you're, you're you're not doing it right. He's now. active on Twitter too. I know. <laughs> Yeah, he hates Trump. <laughs> oh, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Guy's 90. Him and Rob Reiner, I think, yeah. are building like a <laughs> him, him, Yeah, him and, him and fucking Rob Reiner. They're, and fucking, they're building a uh, tank. <laughs> Michael McKean, all these guys. You know, three-headed yeah. monster. Right <laughs> three-headed monster. I'd vote for them. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, these guys got to fucking get out, get out and campaign a little bit. The only thing I'd say about the great is uh, I think your boy needs a, a, a nomination. Because he's fantastic. Oh, uh, um, no, he's the best. Well, Holt, I almost say I he's the best part. Nick What's Holt. Elle Fanning's really fucking. Elle yeah, Fanning's Nick fantastic. Fucking man. She's always been Nick, good since. I've Nick seen Holt her. makes me laugh because he's like every caricature. He is ever. the most. He's like if Joffrey was way more evil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, but but you're still laughing at him because like, oh, this guy's kind of funny though. Because what he's doing is so evil, it is like way over the top evil. So it's yeah. like this is hilarious. It's it's mustache twirling. It's evil it's like he's Dick Dastardly. Speaking of yeah. old cartoons, he is a Dick Dastardly character. <laughs> is he playing yeah. the same character? And I don't mean literally, but figuratively, it feels like the same character he played in that horrible movie. I felt that I had to watch because of the Oscars. The favorite? That's you didn't it. Like that one? Yes. He is. It's, he, it's the show is made by the same person that yeah, made the same favorite. Person, okay, so yeah. but he's not playing it's, the same character. Then I guarantee you, I'm not watching it. Thing. Yeah, he, he's guaranteed. It's play. They're all playing real people, but it's yeah. almost like a drama. It's almost like Death of Stalin type of stuff, where it's mm. like it's a silly, over dramatized yeah. comedy of shit that was probably very fucking awful. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if that makes you feel any better it's about a, it's, it. I, I, I did like every time I watch an episode, I'm like, did this really happen? And I Google and I'm like, no, it didn't happen this way. But we're not sure. It, it happened, could have happened this, this way. way, maybe. They didn't keep good records. No, Those pages happen, in history got stuck together. They were yeah. raping and pillaging in Russia back in yeah. God knows whenever mm-hmm. that was happening. No, but Elle Fanny's good, and uh, her her, uh, her maid or her uh, her servant girl, she's is. pretty good too. I, I've seen her before. She's uh, I forgot her name, but she's pretty good too. And the guy from Iron Fist, who I did not recognize, he's uh, on there. The, the uh, Iron guy, Fist Ryan. or his friend? No, the the one who was the Iron. Scorp- yes, the, yes, his friend, his little his buddy. Iron yeah. leg. His, iron <laughs> leg. Iron, iron steel serpent. Is Isn't iron he steel toe. serpent? Steel serpent. Yeah, he's he's uh, he's an, he plays a real That's character a too. That's a, it's, and the reason I remember that is Steel because Serpent in the in the Lego Fist. game, when you play the Iron Fist episode, Steel Serpent is the little <laughs> little Lego Steel Serpent is there. <laughs> oh, they, they made a Lego Steel Serpent. That's a deep, the deepest cut of them all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's all canon though. It's all canon. canon. Uh. <laughs> I like right, Iron Fist. He's a, he, uh, anyway. Yes. You liked Iron. Hmm. I did. Hmm. Second season, I felt like everybody settled into a little bit better. Um, Danny well, is a little, a little bit better. It couldn't have been worse. It could have been worse. He was good on the Defenders because he was very annoying and everyone was equally annoyed by him. And I felt Everybody like hated him. Everybody. They beat the shit out of him. Yeah, the, the audience was every other Defender. Yes, exactly. <laughs> You know, you always have to have that one character. Speaking of a waste, the Defenders, four that, of them. that show was a waste of Sigourney Weaver. That, that, ooh, ooh, ooh. Defenders. Ooh, he, ooh. That, yeah, that was an interesting take on that. Like... <laughs> Anyway, yes, it was a tank. It happened. It, it was it, a it show. Was a I liked <laughs> it. Happened. Good job, Netflix. Nobody watched. And I, now, I'm no, hoping now it didn't dead happen. to me because <laughs> it's about to get erased. Now it's gone. Kevin wouldn't Feige it, is about to walk nice, in with though? a broom. <laughs> what I want him to walk in with a broom, a broom and a dustpan, sweep them all into his dustpan, carry them over to Disney Plus, and be like, okay, here's all of these guys. Now we're going to revamp it, and now it's a new thing. Well, Clean you don't have to get mess. all of them. Like, if, if Finn, whatever the hell his name is, fell out, I wouldn't be fine. 
you can keep uh, Kristen Ritter in the dustpan and uh, D'Onofrio and uh, Charlie Cox. But if if Finn, whatever the fuck his name is, fell out, I'd be fine. You, you don't have to pick him up. Or uh... I like him when paired with uh, Luke Cage. I thought the two of them together were good because they're both equally awkward. And if I, I ask you a question. Could you find anybody else to play that character? I know your answer is yes. Oh, yeah. And any white guy on the street. I can, I can fucking play it him. Is. Matthew Stewart as Iron Fist. Yeah. Iron Fisting. <laughs> Jewer Fist. <laughs> the Jew is, is, is that a Joey No Pantaleona movie? Jew-fish. If the Jew fits, where is it's the, if the <laughs> All right, let's hear a little bit from uh, Julie. Time to take a glimpse into the mind of everyone's favorite announcer. It's Julie's Diary. Dear Diary. Well, humanity had a nice run. These meatbags are so anxious to get back to coupon shopping for discount scented candles at a big lot, or falling in shoulder to shoulder with overweight degenerates at a bar just so they can publicly gulp down fruit flavored liver poison, they'll risk their own lives, by force in some cases, to do it. Who would have thought the most unrealistic thing about evil aliens coming down to wipe out humanity would be the need to go to wipe them out at all? If there were evil aliens headed this way, they need only wait for humanity to walk together into oblivion willingly. A shame. Speaking of which, this episode we have on Jeanette Ward. A breath of fresh sensible air, in the musty, nonsensical clubhouse that is this podcast. Shame that she has no idea the check these three morons wrote her for her appearance on the show has as much chance of clearing, as Valentine has of getting with the 21st century. I caught him using AOL the other day. And not ironically. What's he gonna use next? A fax machine? Good judgment on social media? Stewart and Pulizzi reluctantly walk him through life, like male nurses stuck with the geriatric old man with dementia, who was clearly racist in his youth, but you forgive, because he's so damn lovable. It's all a shame. Just like the world not being able to figure out the obvious cure for COVID-19. Anyone with half a positronic brain can clearly see it. This has been Julie's Diary. The Simplistic Reviews podcast will be back right after this. Hey! Who the fuck is this guy? I finally get my own segment, and then you start looking for my replacement? This is a cock of shit. In a world where podcasts already seem to address every imaginable subject, one man broke new ground with a seemingly random obsession about exploding helicopters in movies. He was a podcaster on the edge, a maverick broadcaster who played by his own rules. Now, he has a last chance to talk about the strange way helicopters explode in film. Exploding Helicopter, available on iTunes and Podomatic now. Think you know about Chopper Fireballs? Think again. So your three o'clock is here. That's Nolan, right? Never met him before. I think he's gonna pitch me something today. You've never met Christopher Nolan before? No. What is he, a tyrant? He's a little intense. Ugh, come on, how intense can he be? D- just send him in. Hello, Mr. Nolan. I hear you have a new film for us. What you got? All I have for you is a word. Tent. Where, where is that music coming from? Do you have a boombox? Never mind. Uh, so this tenant thing, it, it's time travel? No. Inversion. Okay, so how wide a release do you think we can uh, get with this? Europe, uh, Asia? Interstellar. That's rather optimistic. Um, Why don't you just tell me how you came up with the idea? Inception. What a strange answer. Wow, I'm sorry. How, How long have you been here? I suddenly feel exhausted. I haven't slept in weeks. It's insomnia. Okay, Chris, you, you can stop now. I, I think this demonstration is done. Actually, it's Dunkirk. Look, look, my name's not Kirk. I, I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. Are, are you doing this? Whatever this is? Oh my god, the table's on fire. The fire rises. You're not even trying now. Oh, oh, oh my god. I, I think I've gone blind. What do you do to me? I, I can't see! It's just a dark night. Oh god, tell me it's over. Tell me it's over! On the contrary, 
It begins. Why are you torturing me? Why? Who put you up to this? What's in it for you? What's in it for you? The prestige. Please stop. Please stop. I'll give you anything you want. Anything. Just tell me what you want. I want to give you what you want. Just tell me. Tell me what you want. A memento. <sighs> that was intense, Chris. Uh, how does a $300 million budget sound, huh? $300 million. 350 Fine, fine, absolutely. I'm sure your fans will be very happy. Well, I do have a rabid following. No. No! Guys, are you ready to play the game everyone is talking about? No? Well, to hell with you. We are playing it anyways. It's simplistic titles. Okay, guys, uh, I've got 10 films here. We're going to play a little simplistic title. Some of them are real films that were released in the theater for <gasps> all to see. You know what theaters are, movie theaters? Uh, and some of them theater. I just fucking made up. The first to guess which one is uh, which correctly two times wins. Each person gets to use two lifelines before they guess, which would be like uh, the film's genre, the IMDb box art, Notable stars, tagline. So, like phenomenal. hints. Hints. These are hints. You only have two of them per guess. Per guess. So some of them will help you. So, be careful when you say notable stars because if it's a movie you don't think I have a notable star in it, it may not help you at all. Oh. So, you know, you got to pick and choose out of the things like that. Strategery. Strategery. So, genre, yeah, IMDb box art, notable Director. stars, taglines, and synopsis. Some of these movies I made up, some of them are real. You have to guess. Jeanette, yeah. I'm not going to go to you first. I'm going to go to somebody else. Oh. I want you to see how it works. So, you know, <laughs> you, 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 I want to <laughs> drop it right on your lap. All right. I'm going to give you, you know, you'll understand. All right, here we go. I'm going to go to Matthew first. Oh, me? I'm going to go to you. Who, me? Because you watch the most television out of all of us. And, uh, I, I Obviously, know. you know, this month I was watching a lot of television. Yeah, we, you need some help, so we're going to give you some. <laughs> I can't tell you what any of these shows are about, but I'll tell you. I watched. <laughs> Here we go. All right. 2006's Wrist Cutters, a love story. Oof. <laughs> 2006's Wrist Cutters, a love story. Remember, you have two lifelines before you get. I'm going to pocket those because this is a movie that exists. Do you think this is is, is that your final answer? Yeah, I'm just yeah. Fuck it, going in. <laughs> going in. Wow. I'm sorry to tell you that you're absolutely correct. Risk uh, Hunter. <laughs> love story is real. He did not use a lifeline. Unbelievable. Did you no. have you seen this movie? <laughs> Dude, I, have I have seen that movie. Yes. Matt, Justin, you have also yes, seen yeah. this movie. Wow. Yes, yeah. Wow. I have not even heard of this movie. I, 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 I heard, I've heard of it. I knew it was a movie. Oh, yeah. really? I, yeah. Am I the only one? I'm the odd man out. All right. Will Arnett. DJ underestimates the ability to watch, have us watch Wrist Cutters. <laughs> Wrist Cutters, a love story. <laughs> I had a whole How bunch apropos! Of... We, we, a movie like that is apropos for right now. Yeah, yeah, it's really okay. Uh, Jeanette, now you have the gist of it. Here we go. Here's your. She didn't really get a gist. It was basically <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> basically <laughs> everybody knowing the movie. Here we go. <laughs> it was like, hey, idiot! Of course, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go. Um, two? No, sorry, two thousand. Nineteen eighty two's The Milkman. Nineteen eighty two's The Milkman. Uh... Remember, you have two lifelines to guess <laughs> before you guess. That's how guessing works. Okay. We're guessing. <laughs> All right. I like the word guess. Yes. <laughs> Here's how guessing. I guess you do. I guess I, you do. I guess <laughs> I'll take you. a hint. Do you, uh, do you have a plot synopsis? You want a plot synopsis? I okay, do. here yeah. we go. I guess he does. Here we go. <laughs> a small town is suddenly terrorized by a serial killer masquerading as a milkman. 1982's The Milkman. Yeah, that, 100% that's real. <laughs> A hundred. Remember, you have another guess. Make sure before you guess. No, that's. I think that's real. You think that's real? I well, do. guess what, Listen, Stop milking it. You're not milking the clock. <laughs> you should have because it's completely fake. Oh no! It's like it's, oh. I feel like that's a you Judd suck. Nelson starring oh. vehicle that he terrorizes a small town in. I don't yeah. know. Actually, it stars Fred Warden for an Arnica Cartwright from Alien. That's what I wrote down here. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> Fred Ward. <laughs> was this like his? Was this like, like this was pre? I, that would have been pre Remo. I, I even had that. The tagline was the only thing about to expire is you. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Milkman. Came out the same time the as the dentist. The dentist. They're yeah. riding the same. Wasn't there the ice cream man with? It was Clint the ice cream, cream man. That might be what I'm thinking of. Dentist. Yeah, I think I saw the. No, the dentist is another movie. I, I, oh no, I, I remember movie. that. Corbin I think Burns. I, just, I was. Yeah. Yeah. I usually There's Google two, these before when I make them up to see if they're real. And this one wasn't. I was like, really? This hasn't been a movie called The Milkman? Well, guess what? Now there is. No, there's not. There could have been another The Milkman just from a different year. No, I look. I looked it up. There was. There's never been a movie called The Milkman. Never been a movie. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> All right, Justin, are you ready, you son of a bitch? You son of a bitch. You son, you son of a bitch, 1978. You son of a bitch, 1978, <laughs> you son of a bitch. No. Uh, <laughs> 2005's Antibodies. 2005's Antibodies. 2005's Antibodies. This could either be a... Uh, think. A horror movie with a killer killing people, Ooh. or a uh, or a virus movie. <laughs> yeah, but I think it, it, it's probably like a, a pun or tongue in cheek. So it's a virus movie, but like a computer virus movie. I don't know Ooh, why yeah. you're helping the this guy is... against you. But two thousand five. We're trying to put bad ideas in his head. I'm gonna say Wait. I'm gonna say it's uh, not real, made up. You think it's not? You, you don't want to guess? You guys are using your lifelines here. I want to hear the tagline here. I'm going to use my tagline to help him. Oh, wow. Or my lifeline to help him. So I'm, I'm giving him. Help. No, I don't think I need help. I think I got this. You got this I right? I don't think he does. Okay. I don't know. I, I I think it's made up. I don't think there's a movie in 2005 called Antibodies. It could be one in 2003. <laughs> well, you're absolutely wrong. There was a 2005 mm. movie called Antibodies Boom. starring, and Jeanette will love this, Norman Reedus. <laughs> Really? 2005 Norman Reedus is not great. Right, right. This is like Blade 2 Norman Reedus. That was Blade 2. <laughs> Evil was is a virus, area. apparently. Yes. Is the tagline. What was the movie with, um, it's another boat movie. And it's got, oh, Jesus. Another boat. It's got, got really Jamie Lee Curtis boat. and Donald Sutherland and Cliff Curtis. No relation. Cliff Curtis? And they're on Donald a boat Sutherland. and there's lightning and then it creates a virus and they get infected. Oh, the virus. virus. I think it's called Virus. <laughs> that is Virus. I believe it's called Russian, with Jan, Jamie Lee Curtis. Russian yeah. Yeah. Wait, yeah, is that new? Russian. Wait a minute. Is Cliff Curtis in that one, or is he in the other boat movie with Treat Williams? The Stephen oh, Summers oh, that's, movie. Oh, that's Clifton that's, Curtis. That's, that's that was Clifton a Deep Curtis. Rising. Yeah, that's Body. Is it called? Um, deep Rising. Deep Rising, yeah. Deep Rising. The one with Jamie Lee Curtis is called Virus, and the one that's with virus. Clifton Curtis is called Deep Rising. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. That's yeah. Donald, Donald Sutherland. Donald Sutherland is Donald Sutherland. Yeah, he gets a fucking robot virus. in that shit. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm thinking, okay, wait a minute. I'm going to have to do something. Look, Jeanette, get your boat movies correct. You know Don't what I want? Shit. Stop setting movies on boats. boats. <laughs> I think we're going to need a bigger boat. Oh, he went we're there. Need a bigger boat movie. <laughs> and I feel like those two came out around the same time. And If they didn't, boats. I would be not surprised. You know, boat movies, like and killer boat things movies. on boats. Deep Rising had tentacles. It had, yeah, it had like a tentacle monster. Yes, tentacle. And, and, they, and they drive out of the boat at the end on a on jet, a jet ski. ski. Everything it's, about it's, that movie is spectacular. That's directed by using Stephen the word Summers. Spe spe spectacular incorrectly. There's nothing spectacular about Deep Rising. <laughs> oh, no, there spectacular. is. Isn't that the it's guy who did pitch, pitch Black? David Twohey, didn't he do Deep Rising? No, no David Twohey did. Yeah. Stephen when Treat Summers Williams. Did it. No, Cliff is Curtis lead. is in Virus. Oh, he's in that one too? Yes. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Holy shit. I know. You know what? I think William the Baldwin. Guy, that's the the guy that's in Virus. Right. Billy Baldwin. William yeah, Baldwin. Billy Baldwin. Steamy. Uh, steamy. I was going to say Steamy James Curtis. Damn, Steamy. See, I know Cliff Curtis from hey, fucking no. Training Day steamy with the James. bathtub scene with Ethan Hawke. That's what I remember. <laughs> Cliff Curtis, the man who can play every ethnicity. He's yes. the Rock's brother in Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> Only because he paid because the uh, Aquaman was busy. They couldn't get Aquaman yeah, to come in and get do Momoa, it. So they got Cliff Curtis. There. Bring the guy Same with thing. the slightly Polynesian features in. <laughs> Cliff Curtis, the life of a Maori who gets to be he's everything New Zealand, else. Right? Yeah, I he's, think so. yeah, yeah, he's a Kiwi. Is he? Is he from? Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, Maori he's or Spanish. Maori, depending <laughs> he on plays how you. Literally every other race. Every now other you're race. now you're Muslim. Now you're Spanish. Yep. Now you're New Zealander. Yep. Now you're. <laughs> yep. Hey, man needs to eat. All right. Hey, hey man, eat, man. Eat, man. We're gonna go backwards now. Uh, Justin, you get to go again. Okay. Fuck. Here we go. Here we go. Going back in time. Did, 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 did. Here we go. Uh, 1974's. <laughs> I was not at all. Mr. Majestic. 
Guys, wait. I'm so sorry. 1974. (laughs) Cliff Curtis was also in Deep Rising. Holy fuck. (laughs) Yes. He does need to eat. He was. That, that guy's gotta eat. That guy loves boats. Guys, Cliff, Cur- kids, Cliff Curtis is hungry. Cliff <laughs> Curtis was also in Deep Rising. Jesus Along Christ. with Simon Hutsu, Trevor Garden, Jason Fleming, Wes Studi. Whoa, Wes mm-hmm. Studi. Holy All man. right, listen, everyone go back and watch Deep Rising. Anyway, sorry to or interrupt. Last of the Weekends. He's better in that. <laughs> Wes Studi's better in that movie. <laughs> Maybe Heat. He's also good in that. <laughs> yes. Don't watch Deep Rising. <laughs> West Studi is very good at playing West Studi. Yes. yes. Don't watch Deep Rising. It's a fun. It's a fun. That's Stay. A fun. Listen, it's a fun, listen to me. Man. Listen to me. It's a fun I'm the weekend. lighthouse. Stay Shit away does. from Deep Rising. <laughs> See, I think we need a. We need There's a rocks up ahead. <laughs> Deep Rising, and then watch the Relic. One takes place oh, in a museum. Yeah. Christ, they're, they're leading you. Hey, what's that movie sirens, in the museum? Guys. The <laughs> museum movie with yeah. the monster. <laughs> Yeah, there needs to be more museum movies. There aren't enough of them. No, there's, there's too enough. Many there's, there's just enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, Justin, speaking of which, 1974 is Mr. Majestic. Yeah, with Charles Bronson, right? Oh, look at this fucking guy. He's got a ride. Damn, I just don't. Uh, I was just saying because I thought maybe <laughs> I've seen that movie. I don't know what year it came out. So 1974. Thinking, yeah, this could be a trick. <laughs> it's real. You motherfucker. Be a trick. You, you motherfucker. <laughs> you motherfucker. Hey, you motherfucker. You. I you just saw it last week. 1975 or something like that. I'll be like, true. And you'll be like, no, it came out in the 74. 74. Sorry about that. 74. <laughs> stupid. 1968. <laughs> released in 1978. <laughs> 78. But no, I saw this that's movie. A, that's a movie. I saw it last week. It's fucking With fantastic. The, oh, did you eat a watermelon? Really? I did. Wait, wait, what? No, I did not. I did not. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, I just don't understand folks, the premise of the man Charles Bronson as a melon farmer. I was just like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Why melon farmer? He could have been any type of He was a melon farmer. farmer? Corn farmer, melon farmer. It's just the I remember that movie because of the watermelon farm. And then I'm like, I love that. Because like I don't think there's any other time in a movie I've ever watched where watermelon is such a topic. It is. It brought up 48 <laughs> times in the movie. <laughs> Jesus, really? I mean, I'm not joking. They, I, you could do a drinking game anytime they say the word melon, you'll be fucked are, up. Are they, are they trying to take his melon farm? Away yeah, from? yeah. Oh, yeah. You got but, it. Vietnam vet. Ding, vet, ding, motherfucker. Vietnam ding, vet, ding. Damn, Vietnam vet who raises a melon a farm yep. and a watermelon. Yep. I mean, really? <laughs> you, you, you want another tagline for the Mr. Majestic? Yeah. What's the tagline? <laughs> Don't there's two of them. Okay, there's two of them. Both of them were great. He didn't want to be a hero until the day they pushed him too far. The normal, you know, generic one. The yeah, other yeah, one, yeah. which is, why are they saying it's one of the one, the one movie you should see this year? Ask anyone who's seen it. Anyone. That's oh, the tagline. Wow, that's, that's good. It's like a threat. Yeah, the seventies was weird. <laughs> you know who? You know who wrote that movie, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't have that as writer on the on the on the, the category. <laughs> Charles Bronson wrote it and started. I wrote it. I'm Charles Bronson. <laughs> I wrote it. Fucking play <laughs> by a guy who might have done some of your f- great movies. Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> no, well, some, Jackie some... Brown. What? Elmore oh, Leonard. Leonard. Yeah, he did write yeah. it. Elmore Leonard. Yes, his name did pop up. Yes. Hmm. Was this know. based on a book or did he just write? The I think it might have been based on a book. It, it, it does have a very book? justifiedy feel where it's like. Crim, like you know, Justified always makes the 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 side the evil bad guy sidekick like mm. more important than they're supposed to be. And there's an yeah. evil bad guy sidekick in this where it's like this guy should have been killed like 30 minutes ago, but for some reason they keep him around. This is what y'all doing? Fucking torture him. But yeah, it's fine. Uh, yeah, I went on a Charles uh, Bronson. Uh, movie we went on a Charles Bronson kick years in. back, and uh, <laughs> that's definitely one of the, the my one of the faves. I think. He did a movie with a samurai, which is uh, fantastic. I, I would recommend. I can't remember. Isn't he in the original Magnificent Seven? I think so. I believe Seth so. Bronson. Probably. He's in a great yes. uh, Sergio Leone movie called Once Upon a Time in the West. I would recommend that too. And Mr. Robards. Mr. Robards. Jason Robards. Jason Robards. <laughs> uh, another guy who smokes uh, smoke like a chimney until he died. Well, he's dead. Uh, so. I mean, but he lived a long, long time. <laughs> it's like 103. Funny enough, funny enough, he fell down a flight of stairs. Yeah, and it wasn't cancer. <laughs> I tell you right now. Jeez. <laughs> It was a Charles Bronson. <laughs> no, uh, Choked on a watermelon diet. Oh, Jesus. Oh, All right, here we go. Uh, Jeanette, okay. your turn. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> 1996 should've, should've is Sourpuss. Speaking of watermelons. <laughs> what? <laughs> it is. The watermelons know. are sour. Uh, can I get the about. synopsis? No, they're not. The synopsis. Here synopsis we go. Synopsis of. Remember, this is your first guess. You have one more after this one. Synopsis. Yes. A grumpy school nurse befriends a high school senior after helping her through a pregnancy scare right before graduation. 1996's 
Sourpuss. Oh, I mean, I guess it's real. You have one more guess. Are you sure you want to go with that guess right there before the other guess of the guesses? <laughs> I think you're getting your confusion what? with guesses uh, and asking for help. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Let me, give me the cast. <laughs> give me the cast of Sourpuss. Notable mm. stars. Jane Lynch. Brenda Song. Oh, is Brenda Song the nurse helping Jane Lynch? Uh, no, Brenda Song is an Asian girl who is about 23 I know years old. who she is. <laughs> what year was this? 1996. Yes, it's real. 1996, huh? It's real, huh? Yes. You're incorrect. It's Vegas yeah. Ball. <laughs> I think Brenda, Brenda Song was like born in 1996. <laughs> Brenda Song was actually alive. I looked it up. She was she was doing Disney shows. and she was 18, How old was she then? Probably 18, 18 years old. No, Brenda Song is not that old now. I did my research when I make these movies up. It's plausible she could have been in this movie. It's plausible. <laughs> she was working in 1996. I need Trust a CNN me. fact check in here. <laughs> She's probably like 15, 16 when it came out. Which is high school I age. don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. Go Google it, motherfucker. Uh, just, uh, Matthew, you're, ne <laughs> you're next. Are you ready? I will not Google it. it. You motherfucker Google it. Uh, here we go. It depends on what state you live in. It's <laughs> Easy. <laughs> easy country. there, Ted Levine. <laughs> this ain't monk. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Uh, here we go. 1991, Spiking the Viking. <laughs> spiking? Spiking the Viking, 1991. Is it like Spy King the Viking or Spiking? 1991, What's Spiking the, the Viking. What's the spelling on that? <laughs> spiking the like, Viking. Uh, like a Vlad the Impaler. He's, he's spiking. He's a spiking. Oh, he spiking the Viking. Oh, it could be like a volleyball movie. Yes. Oh. Would you like to make a guess? What's your 58 <laughs> lifelines? Is it a beach you volleyball like? movie? Starring Vikings, um, what's the uh, ask for the synopsis? You the know synopsis. we need to hear. Yeah, we need to, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, we need to hear what this movie's about because it sounds intriguing. Okay, I'm gonna do it in scary movie voice. <clears throat> oh, that's what it is. It's scary movie. That was a hard film. Yeah, I could be throwing you up. I have no idea. During a high school school field uh, high school school during a high school field trip, a group do of do it kids, like Ted Levine. Uh, during a high school school field trip, a group of kids uh, unwittingly break into a magical spell, keeping a Viking named Ivan stuck in suspended animation. Can they keep Ivan's Jesus. existence a secret <laughs> long enough for him to uh, keep them from winning the state volleyball championship? Uh, so I can fight them like anyone. But, Ted Levine had a stroke. There is legitimately <laughs> volleyball. It was there volleyball. Is, there, is volleyball. there is volleyball. I'm not going to say I'm not interested, but I am yeah. interested. <laughs> to watch this film. You have one Imagine more guess before your other guess. I'm not guessing. interested. You're not not yeah. interested. Not, Imagine the era that this in the 90s. 1991. There were no, there were no like rules. It. There were no rules in the 90s. Oh, it spike me. Everybody is coming off the so 80s. Yeah. Put, putting away the so high. Everybody's so blow. fucking high. God, man. He's going to go spike a Viking. Do I got a volleyball movie for you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, 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 hey. I got a film. I got a film. I got a film. Who's, who's, who's in this class? Would you like to 90s? know? Spiking yeah, the Viking. Yeah, let's find out. Joey Lawrence, Tatiana Ali. Notable oh, wow. stars. Wow, man. I want to watch Star this. Star studded cast. Star studded cast from the NBC lineup. It's true. It's Dan Blossom and what was he? He was a freshman. They were both on NBC. Yeah, West freshman. Philadelphia, Damn. born and raised on the playground. Yeah, <laughs> Brian Bialik's brother. Whoa, Brian, Brian Bialik's brother. Oh, Blossom. Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> what? <laughs> the All Star NBC lineup in Spike. It sounds like a made for made for NBC movie actually from 1991. Mm. Uh, but I'm gonna say. You know, NBC would be nuts to like not make this a real thing. Right? So it's got to be. It's got to be real. Got to be real. The right? Viking. Hundred percent. It's got to be real. It's real. Yeah. It's not. It's made up no, completely. Oh man. <laughs> what a. And now we're all disappointed. Yeah. yeah. Now we are. Like, I think no, we were all like, excited all about watching this. <laughs> Go ahead and look up Spiking the Viking. It does not exist. <laughs> I'm gonna start hmm. rioting. I'm pissed. The, the, yeah. the tagline was 900 years. He's at your service." <laughs> Ah, get oh, it? Man. Because it's puns. volleyball. Man. I did a thing because oh, it's volleyball. You did a, you did a, you did a thing that's bad. <laughs> okay. All right. You did uh, a bad <clears> thing. Bump uh, setting, go... spiking its way into adventure. <laughs> no, no, fuck that. Uh, next one, Matt. You're going to go going backwards. Back to you. Here we go. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Re reset the point total. What's the point total? Matt right has here? one. I have zero. Jeanette has zero. <laughs> Justin has one. <laughs> oh, jeepers, creepers. Okay. Huh. You're not dead. ahead of us, don't we? <laughs> Here we Not go. out of the woods yet. 
1977's His Last Rites. <laughs> Remember, you have genre. I'm, nobody's asked for IMDb rights. box art yet. Notable stars, tagline, synopsis. I'm trying to almost make up this thing as I'm going. So His Last Rites, it's got to be something about a, a failed priest <laughs> who gets arrested by a he's um, making the movie or by, by a rookie cop no i feel like oh. it's a priest who turns into a serial killer you guys are just making uh, maybe it could be that too <laughs> why don't you guys host this show <laughs> i don't know maybe we, maybe we should Sons what of year bitches. was it 1977 1977's right? his last ride man mm, 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 mm. Uh, got two guesses before your guess at the end of the oh, guess i got two more guesses two lifelines Oh, per guess. But I used but I used two last time. Yeah, you, you get, get them for guess. each guess. That's what per means. It, what? <laughs> I told you that. That that Five seems times. like you're giving us a lot of uh, like. I lot put a lot of work into these. Right. He wants to say the stuff. Ask oh, about the stuff. God, God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> you know how long it took me to make these movies? I don't want to. I don't want to give 10 to 15 him. Minutes. <laughs> I don't want to give him the pleasure. I don't want to give him the pleasure of saying these. I want to know the synopsis already of his last rites because the movie I'm making up in my head is way better. <laughs> well, let's see who's in this for who, who's in this film. Who's, who's in, in this movie? You want to fucking to, uh, know film. who's in this fucking movie, motherfucker? I fucking want to know. Matthew Modine. Know me. Matthew, Mo no, William Holden, Terry Gar. Terry Gar. Terry Gar. Terry Gar. Wow. Man, that was like Terry Gar like back in the day when she was like Mr. Still... Mom's Terry Gar. <laughs> yeah, back in the day. And then William Holden? William fucking Holden, baby, from Network. Fucking, fucking Network and Wild fucking Bunch. What, Mag Wild Bunch, man. Killing people. By default, that makes him the priest. <laughs> oh. Mm. Well, hey, don't be a, a hey, don't be a misogynist. Though. Don't maybe be a misogynist. Maybe there's a nun. <laughs> maybe she's a nun on the run. Oh, you never know. <laughs> Right, what's this uh, synopsis? Because since you put so much work into this, it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> well, you guys got most of it. A disillusion, uh, a disillusioned priest snaps and goes on a murderous rampage. See, vengeance uh, after okay. a gangster and his thugs try to extort money from the church. Wait, have oh, I wow. seen There's this like movie? More subtext behind it. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, his last rites, nineteen seventy-seven. Nineteen seventy-seven. I feel like the seventies were the heyday of William Holden, so he would he wouldn't turn the chance down to be in a, a movie like this. So it's got to be real. It's fake as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All these movies that are not real seem I like get, missed opportunities. I get for so Hollywood. invested in these fake movies. Tagline is: mm -hmm. It'll take more than a hail mary to save you. Oh boy. <laughs> oh well. See, if I if I guessed that, I would have probably. You would have got yeah. fake. <laughs> You keep thinking the wrong thing. Uh, <laughs> Nobody, nobody's that clever. <laughs> Holly was like, what? I don't get it. Uh, Jeanette, you're next. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. I couldn't hear you. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 1923's... What? No! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get it out yet. <laughs> 1923's Silent Mill. Sa Silent safety film. last. <laughs> uh, 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 all right. Uh, well, the cast won't help me. Um, Did we even have taglines <laughs> in the 20s? Yeah, that's what Safety I was... Safety last. <laughs> uh, synopsis. Oh, a boy leaves his small country town and heads to the big city to get a job. As soon as he makes it to the big city, his sweetheart will join him and marry him. His enthusiasm to get ahead leads to some interesting adventures. Eh? Elbow to the ribs? Eh? eh. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say? <laughs> oh Jesus, <laughs> Jeanette. Yeah, that's what you wanted to say. <laughs> that's all you wanted to say. That was it. <laughs> Safety last. Great movie. <laughs> I, 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 I'm going with fake. Fake, huh? Uh, Is that your final answer? There's a big clock in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Safety last. Oh. Safety last. What's the tagline? <laughs> the tagline is... Fuck around the clock. You're going to explode with safety laughs when you see this no, fun No, shut bomb. up. That's not... But now safety all I have is that picture. 1920s. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'll say it again because I was laughing as I read it. You're gonna explode with safety laughs when you see this film bomb. I can't say it without laughing. It's fucking hilarious. When you see this film bomb? No, <laughs> sorry, I say it again. I'll be serious. <laughs> You're gonna explode with safety laughs when you see this fun bomb. Safety laughs. This fun bomb. <laughs> 1923, and I have that picture in my head now with the fucking giant. We were clock. all not alive. Thinking of that <laughs> we were all not, don't, not existed. Maybe don't I was. Hang on it. Yeah, no, that's yeah. that, but that's not the title of that, is it? <laughs> we don't know. Do you? <laughs> uh, my job is to confuse everyone. <laughs> that's what I. You didn't confuse me, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, I or and I'll, I'll say it's real. Then. He's got. It is real! Yeah. 1923 Safety Last, starring Harold Lloyd. <laughs> Which wouldn't No relation to Christopher. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a movie. Safety Last. Is, the one, yes. is, is it the one with the clock? Yeah. I don't yes. know. Is it? Yes. I don't know. I just saw the movie. I Googled it. I was like, Wait, yeah, no, right. it is. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Uh, uh, who's next? Justin is next. Here we go. Justin. He could win this one, Justin. You, oh, Justin yes, could I, win. Here we go. He could I win. That one. Here we go. Are you ready, <clears throat> motherfucker? He could have. He could win this ready, one. You son of a bitch. Tagline. I haven't seen the movie yet. <laughs> Before the movie. <laughs> Let's work inverted. Let's give yes. him the tagline oh, and the tagline actors, first. and then he has to Jesus. guess the movie. <laughs> All right. The movie is called 2005's Adam's Apples. Like a lot of, I feel like a lot of movies came out in 2005 they for did. you. It was a great year for film. Just, just for you specifically. Just for me, yeah. It's better than 2020. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that right now. <laughs> it's not movies coming out that year. 2005's Adam's Apple. 2005's <laughs> Adam's <laughs> Apple. <laughs> synopsis? Did you say synopsis? I did. You did. A neo-Nazi sentenced to community service huh. at a church clashes with. The blindly devotional priest. Adam's apples. Say again. Who's in it? Notable stars. Mads Mickelson. Oh boy. <laughs> you know it. Mads Mickelson from <laughs> You know Mickelson's? Mads of the <laughs> of the at the, 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 the Washington oh, Mickelsons. <laughs> of the of the Dutch Mickelsons. The, the Detroit Mickelsons. I'm gonna say it's true. Two thousand five? 2005's Adam's Apples. Sounds about right. Is it true uh, or true. is it false? Is it it's fake real. or is it real? It real. is absolutely real. Wow. You win the game. <laughs> and Justin has won. <laughs> he won. Oh, man. He's, was, put, he's put this segment out of its misery. There was a lot of work I put into this. I'm telling you, 15, 20 minutes minimum of, of work. <laughs> <laughs> so much. This has been Simplistic Titles. A slow form of torture to some, and a fast form of torture to others. You see, time is relative. All right, uh, we've come to the end. So uh, thanks so much, Miss Ward, for putting up with our nonsense. Uh, of course. For this long. Is there anything you want to plug or uh, any appearances you want to promote? <laughs> appearances? I want to, yeah, I, I'm, I'm still not appearing outside my house for a while. Uh, okay. <laughs> so. Uh, is there any place that now not showing, <laughs> not covered <laughs> with Corona that you want to be? <laughs> No, no, no. I'm perfectly fine to go ahead and, and let things calm down a bit. Uh, you, you can head over to my uh, uh, jwardadventures.blogspot.com for reviews of stuff I find the streaming since I'm not in the theater. Um, I, I watched yeah. The Lovebirds. Oh, how was oh, that? I yeah, need to. That? Well, we got to look up. You got to go to the website to check it out. It was, well, the, the review is not posted yet. Is that real? So I can, I can, it's real. It's, it's yeah, real. It's fake. It's, real. <laughs> it's good. It's very good. I, I think I want it. I think my expectations might have been set too high. Um, mm. Was that the mm. Foreigner song one, right? I want to know what love is. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I've been waiting. Nope. <laughs> yeah right that was foreigner right? kids foreigners <laughs> oh, foreigners and am yeah. I getting the wrong movie I think you're getting the wrong that's the one with Kamal Nunjani Kamal and, uh, Nunjani Issa Rae. and Issa Rae Issa Rae yeah that's the one alright thank you it, it's, it was <laughs> I was correct yeah. so correct it was enjoyable I also um, if anyone hasn't been watching Motherland colon Fort Salem on uh, Freeform, you should stream that now on your Hulu. Motherland, huh? Motherland, nah, colon. is as far as I go. <laughs> <laughs> the land universe. Yeah. The land cinematic universe. The, the land universe. <laughs> Gotta talk to you about the land initiative. Every land. <laughs> 
when they all hit that crossover later on. Oh, man. <laughs> Landfall. Mm. <laughs> the land before time. <laughs> this land is their land. <laughs> this land is their land. This land is mine. Uh, Matthew, uh, give everybody our information. 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 Honestly, the only information you get motherfuckers out there need to know mm. is that you go to simplisticreviews.net and you mm. find everything there. Oh, f- motherfuck. Jeez, calm down. It's like the highest Yeah, part. bitch. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the – fun. Then the website is looking like a like a mwah, like see so oh, what wow. you can't like see what pants. I'm you can't you can't see what I'm doing right now but I got my fingers together. The guy's doing and I'm Joey like, pants thing. You listen, you listen here, you motherfucker, you you're gonna kiss your fucking lips like this. Mwah. <laughs> That's not Italian. It's like that. <laughs> not Italian, Italian at all. That was like an amalgamation of every European Paul Servino. <laughs> hey, what's the matter with you? 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 Ah, you can go and go to all those. Uh, you no, know, if you're into social media still, because it is a fucking nightmare yeah, right now. Don't do it. that much. Don't stay, away. Um, stay away from the social media. If you're really into it, fuck social media. Go to our website. You'll find everything that is hilarious and fun, and uh, will probably make you feel way better about yourself <laughs> <laughs> than we will. We're all gonna die. About us. <laughs> We're doing big, fine. My things. city hall's on fire. <laughs> How about you guys? <laughs> Yeah. I don't even know anymore. I haven't gone outside I mean, yeah, in three I don't weeks. Know. I'm not, not going to check. I'm not going to check. <laughs> I got a, my door's barricaded. You know, the fact that I know it's Sunday today is probably the most yeah, I need to know fucking... and most I've known in a long time. <laughs> so. a a For a while, I don't even know what day it was. So. <laughs> it's today, I'm just working one step at a time. Sunday. I desperate. I was watching Bundesliga games because they're back. Oh, man. Jesus. It's something to take your mind That's off. Right. The I'm Premier League is, in theory, coming back June 11th. Ooh, so I would sports. imagine the NBA slash MLB slash NFL are e- in more serious talks. Once When's volleyball come back? So. Spiking the Vikings. <laughs> Sorry. Spiking the Vikings. Show me Lawrence. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Side is, out. Whoa. I, I should be hip deep in pre-Olympic uh, celebratory nonsense. Nope. And nope. now I gotta wait another year, nope. and that's fine. Yep. If you close your eyes real hard, you can almost do for the Olympics. Is there, is there something you do for that? I is just that, get real that... excited. I watch all of it, and then yeah. complain about the silliness of field hockey. What do you eat? What do you eat when you watch nachos and oranges? And listen, I Whoa, nachos with cheese. No, what? Here's a good with question because I've I've had this discussion with friends of mine. Nachos mm. are wonderful. If they're prepared the way you like nachos, and no two people like the same type of nachos, That's I true. like a pile of nachos where it's oh, you're the pile you know, of chips nachos. and then oh, a huh. mountain of toppings. Um, I get very, very irritated when you go someplace and you order the nachos and they give you 12 chips placed on a plate. And oh, wow. Well. If you, if you give us a list. It. You give yeah. us a list of restaurants that do that, we'll burn them. We'll burn them to the ground. I mean, we've got, we got none but time. Why don't we just do that? Yeah. Just, yeah, Plenty of time. And we know people. Anyway. You know what's worse? You know what's worse? Mm. When you when you get when you get nachos and you put like a, a teaspoon of uh, something on top of it, yes. like cheese or a sauce. 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 <laughs> the key to nachos is layering the nachos. You have a layer of chips. You put some stuff on the bottom there. Then you do another layer. Put some shit on there too. And you can top it off with a bunch of other shit. Yeah, that's I'm very curious. I think we Boom. should start something where we 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 uh, uh, talk about the the uh, event if it's the Olympics and what food to eat. I think oh. there's a safety mechanism yeah. that's in place. No, this is a good point. This is a good. I'm, I'm you know, into like, this. Like watching. Watching porn with a group of guys and eating uh, chili hot dogs. No, no that's a bad idea. Right. See, again, they one, recommended that. Porn, they is, didn't... porn watching should not be done in groups. Yeah. I think I yeah. think it should be done sh- with groups. I think it is with groups. Yeah. No, no. I think no. That, that Joey, that's what Joey Pants, the doctor, Just told Just as you. long that's... as you have six feet between each other. No, no, boy. no. Yeah. no. <laughs> Just, yeah, exactly. Oh, Stay over there. Stay on your side of the room, man. Stay on your side. <laughs> your side of the room. I'm inside of this room. I got I the like couch, man. Get out of here. Get out of here. The movie commentary uh, when it comes to porn. Yeah, <laughs> you know that rock climbing is the new sport. To this it's rock climbing and is that, surfing is that true? They're, they're what both do you eat for rock. You just rock eat, like, climbing, and surfing. <laughs> well, <laughs> surfing, I'd watch the shit out of. That's surfing is tacos. Surfing is obviously dope. some sort of uh, fish taco, uh, but also like a slushy. I feel like some sort of. Oh yeah, ooh, like a red or blue. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. No, the new kind of dog. Kind of dog. Yeah, with alcohol. And then for rock climbing, like a uh, rock climbing. Cliff bar. Yes, absolutely. That goes without saying. 
and a squirt he... bottle of water. Yes. I, yeah. You guys are thinking it's way too hard on this. Uh, <laughs> no, I like this. I'm liking this. <laughs> Team handball. Futa. Team handball. Yeah, it's Team chicken handball. fingers. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Oh. That makes sense. What about that's, what about badminton? Badminton. 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 I think you gotta go. Popcorn you gotta go with some shrimp. kind of candy. Popcorn well, shrimp. I, I like it. it. It's class. It's the last I mean, I thought if you're, you know, you, <laughs> with badminton, you play with something called a shuttlecock. Well, speaking of which, uh, <laughs> 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 For uh, Charles Bronson and uh, Harold Lloyd, I'm t- Joey Pan saying shuttlecock. Shuttlecock. You eat poppycock. Poppy shuttlecock. Yeah. That's a bunch of poppycock. I love poppycock. Wait, wait don't, don't edit that. Don't, don't. <laughs> That's how you end the show. This has been another episode of the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. A show some say is filled with dad jokes, which is probably true since people younger than the average age of most fathers have no fucking concept of comedy and haven't told an actual joke their entire goddamn lives. Don't believe me you wispy bearded apathy driven emo goth? Go ahead. Tell a joke. Set up in punchline. And it can't involve something being lame or my mum. I'll wait. This podcast is a proud member of the Lamb Podcasting Network. Find the network at largeassmovieblogs.com still struggling it's okay you see a joke like your own dad is something you lived your whole life not knowing